This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. This episode is brought to you by Harry's Razors. Very nice. And podcasts and YouTube are different, aren't they, everyone? Seems ominous, but yep, they are. They are two different things, two different mediums. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me, as always, is my co-host, Nick Mason. It's your boys, Jimmy and Nicky. You know it, we're that, back. That we're... was uh, brought up on the uh, Planet Broadcasting Great Mates group, and I'm like, we should, should we be Jimmy and Nicky? Yeah. That works? Definitely. Yeah. Who's Jimmy and who's Nicky, though? I'm, I'm Jimmy, obviously. Okay. Yeah. And I'm Mickey. Yeah, Mickey, exactly. Yeah, Jimmy and Mickey, exactly. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's good, right? Yeah. Mm. Very good. You know what else I love, Mason? What do you love? I love giving back and making people give back. You don't like either of those things, <laughs> but your wife is forcing you to do both of those things. <laughs> She's forcing both of us to do both of yep, these things. That's right. Yeah. Uh, first of all, we've got a live show coming up in Melbourne on the twenty first of July, uh, where proceeds go to uh, the charity event for this year, which I'm about to also talk about. We've sold over a hundred. I don't know where we're at. I think the cinema's bigger now and there might be more seats available. I don't know. And look, if there's not enough room. We have sledgehammers. We and can we can crack a hole in that wall, you know? But you still can't come. No. Because they won't let us do the show if we put a hole in the wall, obviously. <laughs> like, that's, that what if makes we do sense. A, if we do it very quietly, though. <laughs> okay. I reckon, I reckon we can knock out a bit of the wall before. Like, we bar the door. Is it the way, like, you put a pillow over a gun to muffle the bullets? Yeah, exactly. The same principle, I yeah, assume, exactly, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to yeah, use like... extra audience members <laughs> to muffle the hammers. <laughs> yes. So that's going to be also uh, Charlie Clawson and Will Anderson from TOEFOP and many other various endeavours that people would know uh, are, going to be, are going to be joining us for that live show. And then there's going to be a screening of the movie 2040, which is excellent. Yes. Uh, uh, if you want to get an idea of what that movie is like, there's That Sugar Movie, uh, which is available on multiple streaming platforms, is a really good documentary on how sugar's in everything and, and is bad. But it's, it's also fun and good. And Hugh Jackman turns up in it. I'm like, you got fucking Hugh Jackman for this? Hugh Jackman <laughs> turns up in sugar. Yeah, he does. He doesn't touch any of the sugar. Actually, no, he does. But he doesn't not. eat any of the sugar. No, he, 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 absolutely not. Yeah. I saw a... You know how celebrities are sort of forced into these weird interviews at this point? Like, nothing's a normal interview anymore. I, it must break them. Because yeah, they're like, sure. you have to shear this sheep. <laughs> and also, we're gonna, <laughs> you have to exactly. answer questions about yeah. your career. Yeah. Uh, well, well, I think we've talked about how, like, the wide autocomplete interview. Oh, yeah. They never... Prov- like, I, I'm, I'm confident they never tell them how many cards there no. are at the, at, at the start of Just say of the, there's eight. Just say there's eight and then go through <laughs> eight. But I saw one recently It was because they, they were promoting Dumbo. It was Colin Firth. No, Colin Farrell yep. and Danny DeVito. What a, what and the a idea was that they had to eat, like, different, like, American and Irish like snacks, okay. Except Danny DeVito, has, I think, has diabetes, oh. and Colin Farrell has like has to maintain Dad, like one eating... has to maintain one percent body yeah. fat at all times, just in case. So like they were just not eating anything. <laughs> it was just like four minutes of them being like, "Look at it! Look at these chips! Can't eat those yeah. chips." <laughs> Why but they're probably you? good. I wouldn't. Would you? No, probably not. Just eat a bunch of random food. Just ruin the rest of your week. Uh, no. <laughs> Tom Holland was a good sport. He did. He did. I saw him do one. It was well, like he's young. He's burning. He's exactly, burning those calories. Yeah. Exactly. He'll just. They'll. They'll just. He'll eat all the stuff and then just run around the car park <laughs> for an hour and burn it all off. So yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, but also, uh, speaking of charity, Mason. Oh yes. Uh, the the, uh, the site for this year uh, for, for donating, we're aiming for... Last year, we got $50,000 right. for the campaign. This year, we're we aiming for the same We didn't get anything. The thing. listeners no, that's true. got $50,000. Right. The weekly wackadoos. This year, we talked about it last week. It's basically about seaweed regeneration, which, which helps reduce the level of uh, CO2 in the atmosphere, uh, global warming, and such and so forth. Do you think it's real? It is. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> Uh, because seaweed regenerates very quickly. They're, built, they're making this belt, which goes from Australia all the way to, to the US. It regenerates something like, it can grow like half a meter a day. Like it it's is. insane. But for every dollar we raise... I think you need a bloody belt that regenerates half a meter a day, mate. What does that mean? <laughs> no. Oh, right. Because of all the sugar. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. all the sugar. Yeah, you make uh, all the sugar. But, um, <laughs> I'll just run around the car park with Tom Holland. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, so they'll match every dollar. So if we do hit 50,000 or anywhere near that... Yeah, that's 100 grand. That's 100 grand, which is, which is really great. Uh, also, you get to ask a question when you donate, like we did last year. We'll do a Q&A that's only for people who have donated... Uh, there'll also be some other bonus stuff up there. We'll probably do a, a tour of the new studio space, which is We will, of course, finished. answer the uh, often asked question, why do I hate James's brother? We'll answer it we again. We answer it every Q&A, I think. We're ready to go. That's right, but never in real life. That's right. There's already some people who have donated. 
donated. Paddy has donated one hundred and fifty six dollars, which Bloody is hell. the highest amount as of so far. Oh, wow. Maybe we could we could read out the highest amount every week that yeah. people have donated. That'll get people donating. And the highest amount, maybe. the high look. If you're the highest amount, mm -hmm. um, we will put you against the wall. Yep. As we hit it with sledgehammers. That's a great deal. Absolutely, it is for us. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You have to pay your own way to Melbourne. Of course, you do. Yeah. Uh, it's the intrepid of money. No, it's the intrepidfoundation.org slash planet broadcasting fundraiser. Is that long enough? Absolutely, it is. <laughs> but it's also linked below. So please, please give check it, it out. Give it the old clickety click. Also, what do you want? We'll, we'll give you some stuff. We'll do some prizes <laughs> like we did last year. We gave away some some gear and razors and t-shirts and. Oh, we should give away the old microphones. No, I need those. Do it's, you? It's going to become a separate. Pack that we oh, use for okay, mobile right. podcasting we when we're on the road. So, we should give away something in this room. Fine. You can go live with somebody for a year and a half. <laughs> do I have to provide my own airfare? Of course you do, Mason. Wow. But for every dollar that you raise, yep. that can go towards your airfare. Airfare. My airfare. <laughs> your airfare, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. It's news time All right. because it's a show where we talk about the news of the week, mm -hmm. but we also do a topic. What are you looking around for? Something to donate. Something to donate. There'll be yeah, something, something in the something other room. Yeah. What about the red cup you drink from every week? <gasps> No. Ah, oh, so when it's no. something of yours, you don't oh, want to do it, right, but you'll mate. happily give away the microphones does any, that I paid does any, for. Does, does, anybody, does, any, the, does anybody want this red cup? I, it's probably due for an upgrade. It's the last red cup. It's the last red cup in existence. We've broken yeah. the rest of them. Uh -huh. I'll have my DNA on it if That's anybody true. wants to clone me. Exactly. Uh, Paul Rudd is joining Ghostbusters 2020. Uh, did you see that video where it was like, I'm joining Ghostbusters. I love, I love yeah. Ghostbusters and I've always wanted to Ghostbuster. Yep. Uh, this movie is doing all the things to make people get on board for this. I feel oh, yeah, like. Absolutely. like it's, yeah, it's yeah. a real sequel and men are in this one. <laughs> uh, what else do you want? Men you like. <laughs> yeah. Remember 40 year old virgin. You remember that? He was in that. Yeah, he did that. Yep. Remember? He's got abs now. Yeah. Uh, if that's appealing to you. Yep. I could see him in a proton pack and, and so on and so for forth. For sure, yeah, yeah. Why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is definitely there's a this movie has a lot of preemptive damage control. Before we've seen even a yeah. even a skerrick of real footage of this movie, they're like, No, you're gonna like this one. Yeah. Don't even don't even worry about it. Don't even don't even think about downvoting all our videos. This Do you think it'll be fine to good or yes. better than that? Currently I'm thinking fine to good. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I I think Paul Rudd's a good sign. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's a, I feel it's kind of a rare thing for Paul Rudd to be in something bad. Uh, what about the one where you bring an idiot for di to dinner and you're like, look at this idiot. Dinner for schmucks. Yeah, was dinner, he in that? Dinner for idiots, yeah. Was that good? They, apparently not. He brought Steve Carell. Oh, And right, he was like, look right. at this idiot. And they're like, we will. And we have. <laughs> Thank you for thank you. Good night. Thank you for bringing your idiot for dinner. Wow, yeah. it's that French wit because it was <laughs> adapted from a French movie. It's very, really, very good. Oh, yeah. so good. Exactly. Uh, but so, I think I think Paul Rudd's a yeah. Generally speaking, aside from dinner for idiots, hey, look at this idiot. <laughs> we have thank you and good night. <laughs> yeah, I that's think it. it's uh, he's a pretty good yeah. barometer of quality. So, so they're doing the Stranger Things cast. Yeah. Some of them, yeah. they're making it an official Ghostbusters three. Yeah. Or four, we know about the video game. <laughs> and, and, uh, That's what it's called now <laughs> yeah. on the poster. It's like also the video game's canon, guys. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So And everybody's like coming back and, yeah. and whatever. So there you go. Exciting, I think, probably. Hmm. I don't care. <laughs> I, I, look, I'll see it, absolutely. Yeah, but uh -huh. I just, I'm not a massive Ghostbusters fan and you like the first one. Absolutely, I do. So, I like it a lot. So yeah, look, I'm... I'm, I'm not making any proper judgments until we see the first trailer. Mm. I think we'll have a good uh, understanding of whether it's good or not. I'm so, I was so exhausted from the last one. And not the movie itself. I don't. <laughs> everything around I'm the movie. I'm fine with the movie. Yep. Honestly, I thought it was okay and fine. Uh -huh. But everything else is just still resonating. I can still feel it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, in other news, Black Widow, uh, the movie, there's been some on-set photos. Oh, yes. Uh, it Spoilers? Looks like, it looks like, eh, maybe. Yeah, sure. Right. You can see there's always time codes. People can skip ahead. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it looks like it's set in 2017 because there's a car that they're abusing. <laughs> it's an Audi, I assume, and it's in 2017. Uh -huh. uh, so that means it's between Civil War and Infinity War, which I think was the rumored timeline. Right, but they'll probably okay. jump to other timelines where they're like, we got your uterus, Wait, Black Widow. <laughs> Why do we include <laughs> this plot point? <laughs> we got it, though. Come <laughs> chase us. <laughs> Yeah. Why? Why? How does the car confirm it's in 2017? Because it's a 2017 model. Oh. Yeah. Couldn't it just be an old car? What do you mean? Couldn't it be like 2025? What do you but it's mean, an old Mason? Car, <laughs> but it's an old car. No. Cars huh. in movies are always the, the year that they came out, okay. or even a slightly bit ahead. It's Sometimes like, they it's are. It's the yeah. Lexus from two years from now, or whatever, yeah, right. or some prototype Minority Report car, or whatever they did for yeah. Tom Cruise, <laughs> or some pair of Adidas 
bloody shoes that Will Smith is wearing because he's <clears throat> he's fighting a robot. He's stopping uh, a robot yeah, from, yeah, okay. from doing a murder. All right. Okay. Yeah. So it's definitely set in 2017 based on that criteria. I would say it probably is. Okay. Yes. All right. Or whenever's in between Infinity War. I watched Homecoming the other day. I'm like, I like that movie. But I was like, this timeline is, why do they keep, why do they do? Why do they do this? They're never going to mention it there's again. There's a few nods in it that are like, and eight years ago when this happened, I'm like, stop saying <laughs> that. <laughs> stop giving us specifics. <laughs> Some time ago. Yeah, that's mm. right. Uh, also, the other thing is, it looks like there's a, the Taskmaster is in this. Oh. Who's a villain most recently seen in comics, but also before that in Spider-Man PS4. He's like a little side villain that pops up. That is true. He gives you tasks that, to yeah. master. That's right. And mm. you do, and then you fight him on yeah. a building. Uh, how's he looking? Do we know? Mm, see, I wouldn't look at that and immediately go Taskmaster. Yeah, right. Everybody else sleuthed it. I didn't sleuth is nothing. Because there's two, there's two, like there's a, there's your classic Taskmaster costume, which is like the white with the, like it's all white and he's got a skull mask and disco yes. boots and a cape. My fave. And he's always carrying like his version of the Captain America shield and a sword and a bow and out. There's too many accessories. But then there's like your modern day one, like which the is tactical. Yeah, it's just like he's yeah. a special ops guy with a skull mask. Yeah, it's more so that. It's that. Okay, Though I right. couldn't really see any skull mask situation, oh, right. but maybe he changes it. Could so just be a man. Could be just a man. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I would say it's, they're probably going to go with a villain like that, though I'd imagine. Yeah, it right. Makes, uh-huh. It makes sense to me. But he could, could also be a minor villain and the real villain is her best friend that she thought was... <laughs> a, they trained together, but then <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if the secrets... There's too many secrets to unfold. Mm. What if there are too many secrets to unfold? What if the villains are uterus? <sighs> Yeah. I'm back. That's right. You didn't protect me. And now you <laughs> Now I'm robbing me. banks. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Uh, yeah, I'm interested in this. Mm. I'm kind of less interested there being an in-between call. Same. But they've done those movies before. Yeah, right. And I've enjoyed most of them. And I, I mean, it could it could be a there could be a method to bring it back to the modern day in there. Exactly. I think some maybe I read an article this week that suggested maybe she might be cloned in this or something like that. Oh, yeah. Because we, you know, but they, they, Gamora's What's back. What's the theory for the cloning? I can't remember. Are they just like the theory is they probably cloned it. Well, the I, th- I think the theory is they did that in the comics at one point. I Everybody's think, been I think, cloned I think the, and replicated. I'm, I'm pretty and sure the robot. I know, but I'm pretty sure the current Black Widow is not the original Black Widow. The original Black Widow died. And Nobody's the original it. anybody yeah, anymore. That's Do you remember true. when Peter Parker gave birth to himself out of a giant spider? Yeah, he's not the original that's the poster Peter Parker. On my wall. Yeah. Also, he's probably a clone of himself. They keep changing it. Mm. I don't think he is a clone of himself at the moment. No. <laughs> but he might be. Yeah. Every morning he wakes up and he goes, am I a clone of my... I, I seem fine. <laughs> yeah. I seem also, fine. it doesn't really matter, does yeah. it? Yeah. So there you go. Uh, Black Widow, next year. We'll probably get a, a good look at it in uh, Comic-Con coming up mm. this a month. Next a month. No, 1st of July when this goes out? I think it's the 30th when we're recording this. Oh my goodness, it is. It is. That's right. Get ready for July, everybody. This a month. What, you know what that means? It's this a month. It's this a month. Mm. Uh, Taika Waititi is apparently on board to to crack a fox. No, not like break <laughs> emotionally, uh-huh. but to, to uh, for a fox produced Flash Gordon animated movie. They're thinking Thor Ragnarok. They're thinking animated. They're thinking, can we just do our version of Spider Verse, please? Because, <laughs> right. because people don't want a Flash Gordon anything. So can we do this? Will you accept this? They say. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this is another run at this, but it yeah. seems like a good combination. They're like, what have we got that can make Flash Gordon palatable yeah. to anyone ever? Yeah. Taika Waititi. Yeah. Animated. Animated. Yeah. Because he's very nothing, isn't he? <laughs> isn't he just... We say that, but I mean, we're right. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I don't know. There's, like, there's... There was the movie, and I know it's iconic, and the movie Ted was like, yeah, do you remember that? Right. And I'm like, never saw it. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess, yeah, I mean... the And there was the the Smallville guy played him in a series. Right, right, right. But they've been talking about doing this movie for years, and obviously Star Wars is, was going to be Flash Gordon, but he couldn't get Flash Gordon, so he made Star Wars, George Lucas, yeah. so on and so forth. I don't know, I don't know what to, I like... I, again, I want... I want a resurgence of this kind of stuff. Yeah. Sort of, kind of. Because you want this and you want Tarzan again and you want the Phantom and yes. Magic the Magician and yes. John Carter of Mars. Yes. And, yeah, all of those. All those. All those things. But what's the secret? Like, you know? There's it, not a secret. It's I, no secret. Just don't. Just don't do it. Is it because it's not in... Because like, there's been so many variations of these things since. Yes. That it's, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, exactly. There's no, there's no baseline. Yeah. Like, there's no... Like you see Tarzan yeah. now, but it's yeah. like, well, we have Black Panther, who's also a I man guess that's who's, true, yeah. who's mm-hmm. jumping around in the jungle. Yeah. Like, what? Are you, 
That's true. Yeah. But I guess like you can go... And he has a train, like yeah. a magnet train that he can use. That's true. Sunday. He can <laughs> jump on it, yeah. jump around it. <laughs> I guess there's like... Because like something like Sherlock Holmes... Mm. You know, that's that's a we got Sherlock Gnome. Exactly, yeah. that's all you need. Yeah, but like that's you know that that's a a, a, a character of a you know a, a even further vintage than mm. these characters. But I guess there's always a there's always a, like a through line, and the character's consistent. I think the murder mystery element of yeah. it is always that's an interesting kind of wrinkle yeah. to that. But it's like, well, the Phantom, he's got two guns and his dad was the Phantom. And he's got striped underpants on the outside. That's true, he does. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. And he looks good in the city. He doesn't stand out at all. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. But he also stands out in the jungle. Mm. It's not... It's purple. It's purple. He's wearing purple. And, it's, and the striped <laughs> underpants aren't doing any, any favours either. He'd look better in Wakanda because it's, you know, it's got that kind of... There's all sorts of fluoro situations yeah. happening there. Is that how you do it? Is Do you, do you put him in... You put him in Wakanda. Yeah, sure. Sure. Like, the you get, you yeah. get Marvel to purchase Fleetway or whoever owns the Phantom now. <laughs> Who and knows? Just, and just be like, yeah, yeah, he's yeah we'll, in. we'll have him. Yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll make a movie, make a billion dollars. Anyway, Flash Gordon. Yeah, I think this is probably a good way to go at it, though. Yeah, uh, they don't know whether he's writing or directing it, but it's happening. So it looks like you were saying off air. Oh, we never. went to get dinner. We don't talk off air. No, we did. <laughs> don't lie. Okay. When, and you were t- what was the thing you were talking about? It was it was like a post. It was like post Rick and Morty. Oh, I was talking about Men in Black. Yeah, right. And I said uh, some one of the reason why I think that failed, aside from not being a great movie, yeah. is because after Rick and Morty and everything else that's come since Men in Black, just being like, do you know there's aliens? Like, imagine the real society, but there's some aliens, and uh, imagine that, but also like big zappy laser guns. Yeah. What else? That's what, what else? Or have maybe you that's got? it. Maybe that's that's what we're talking about with Flash Gordon. It's yeah. like, what if there's a guy and he's a normal guy, but then he ends up on another planet? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what else? You know. And that's John Carter. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And again, I guess, and you do have to. What if of... there's a magician, Mandrake? Yes. But he can't really do magic. But well, ma- we have a real magic <laughs> guy now. Yeah. So. Yeah. His name's David Blaine. <laughs> oh, you mean in the movies? Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, you're right. And, and... I think you do it wacky, though. Maybe yeah. that's the way you do it. You do but a comical also, version. Also We've the, talked about that's this. That's also the dilemma is like, do can you make it more campy than the than the, the classic, the, the Queen soundtrack you, version? You know how you do Green Hornet? You yeah. do that, but you make a better version of it, I think. Was Green Hornet good? No. Right. That's right. But I'm saying you do okay. that, like in that kind of, you know, like your Starsky and Hutch remake kind of yeah right, you do it okay. that way but funny with good people and okay. things that people like in it all right yeah but i don't know if i want to fun them you want genuine you want earnest you want earnest then you do that okay great look anything can work for any reason that's true but most things don't yeah speaking of try like people's opinions on that though okay email in next week how to do it or how not to do it what 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 would make you want to watch? Yeah, some like a, a Flash. I don't think or it, a Flash don't, Gordon or a or a Phantom or something like that. I think it's probably because I don't think you can. It's not an actor's thing. Because if they were like, "What if Liam Hemsworth was Mandrake?" I'd be like, "I don't care." Yeah, it's for like sure. with a lot of like the Marvel casting. It's really good, but the movies don't work well because well they do work well because of the casting, but that's not the reason people go to see them. You know, necessarily. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh-huh. I think if you look at the creative team behind it, that that gets people more excited. Yeah, like with right. Dune, for example, it's been oh, done. Dune. Thank you. With a D. Thank you. Uh, it's done. It's been done a hundred times. Yeah. But when they're like the dude who did Blade Runner and whatever is yeah. doing it, then I'm like, well, I will definitely see this that. This is a guaranteed money loser. Let's see it. <laughs> Let's see it. Yeah, you know. Exactly. Let's yeah. be the only look. Term. Or like, let us know, like, if if. Thinking about something like the Phantom or Flash Gordon, yeah. what is it that you don't like about it? Or if you've seen them, what didn't you like? What what what? Yeah. What doesn't quite work in Weekly those? Planner Pod at, at gmail dot com. But if there's something, yeah, okay. and once they get over that hump, you know, mm. that then we've got them. I think it's I mean, the creative team because, like, you know, yeah, it, well, it's got to be, and it's yeah. you know, again, like Iron Man was a C list. Character until Mason, 2008. Iron Man was a very successful Marvel property for decades, uh, but people didn't care. It's true. <laughs> or like him. Yep. Or no. Mm. Yeah. Is this guy a robot, they said? It's and not was, a robot. No. No. Now we know. Yeah, he's a horn dog. That's what he is. <laughs> That's right. And he's a real man. Anyways, yes. I had a great transition before. I'm going to use it again. Please. Speaking of things that will fail, or whatever I said, uh-huh. uh, mid trailers ahoy, also. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes. 
Uh, Maybe when I get this new soundboard working, I'll put the trailers Ahoy theme right. in it, all right? Okay. This this board here also yeah. has a one really big button mark record. Yeah. Are you going to use that? Or are you no. just going to... No. <laughs> just hit record? No, I'll, I'll be using no. that. It all, it all feeds through that. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, nice. You put a micro SD in there, you just go for it. Sweet. Thanks to Rode yes. microphones mm. and whatever that's called. It's pronounced rude. Rude? That's why the O's got the line through it. <laughs> Yeah. Or is it there's no O? So it's just, is that Rude, what you mean? Rude, yeah. Rude. Yeah. Rude, <laughs> Rude. Uh, Midway has a trailer. Yeah. From the makers of Independence Day comes right. the story of Midway. Mm. Uh, imagine Pearl Harbor, but it looks worse somehow. No, it does not look worse. <laughs> there's no way. I mean, like, special effects wise, it looks a little grey and. Um, That's war, James. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Sorry, war isn't exciting <laughs> enough for you. Sorry, isn't it, there wasn't enough Technicolor in war. You know what? War should apologise. Yeah. Because maybe I'd be more interested in going to a war if it was more interesting. Mm. No, uh, well, Midway's been a movie and a real event that yep. happened, obviously. Uh-huh. My, video I show, game company. That's right. Mm. I show my dad the trailer because he likes these movies from whatever. He's like, yeah. oh, this looks... It's like, this looks terrible. And it also looks like a sequel to Pearl Harbor mm. as well. It's like those yeah. events line up mm-hmm. in history. Yeah. So maybe it is. What do you think about the cast though? I like Patrick Wilson. I like, I like Patrick Wilson too. I like Woody Harrelson in a wig. Like Ed Screen? Do you like Mandy Moore? Yes. Ed Screen. They're making him happening. They happen, really are, they? yeah. They're yeah. giving him a big old push. Here we go. Yes. He's actually playing a Japanese pilot in this. He hasn't realised that again. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Ed Screen, get out while you can. He's done Pull it again. Pull that while you can. Ed Screen dropped out of uh, Hellboy. Hellboy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably for the best, I yep. guess, in the long run for yeah, him. Yep. For multiple reasons. Look, I, I just don't believe the guy who directed Independence Day could make this uh, any good. No. Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm. I did not know that th- that was the case. Yeah. I mean, they probably said it in the trailer, but I wasn't really paying attention. I don't think they said that exact thing. Oh, okay, right. Uh, yeah. I think they use another thing. They're like but the director of... Did the director of Independence Day also direct Independence Day Resurgence? Yes. Okay, then I'm not interested anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he's lost his... T- whatever touch he had, he's lost it. Let me tell you. Uh, yeah, so Roland Emmerich, obviously, uh, is... It's his latest venture oh. into the world of cinema movie making. Let me just bring up his filmography. Just Godzilla so you- 1998. It's a good one. But that means if this movie's coming out, we can do Pearl Harbor for Caravan of Garbage. Terrific. Okay, here we go. Uh, Independence Day, he did Stonewall. No idea. He did White House Down, which I think is not as good as the other one. Okay, right. Uh, Before that, he did uh, Anonymous, which is the one where what if Shakespeare was... He didn't write it. What if someone else wrote it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before that, he did 2012. Uh Uh-huh. Uh, 10,000 BC, where they're like, I've got a saber-toothed tiger and these people are building the pyramids. Um, (laughs) Before that, Day After Tomorrow... Did the Patriot, Godzilla, Independence Day, Stargate, Universal Soldier, Moon 44, other things. Mixed bag. Mixed bag and of a different era, yes. I feel, is the is the exactly. my takeaway from that. Yeah. So I'm not on board anymore. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we can still do Pearl Harbor. Okay, great. We can great. watch that four-hour movie. Terrific. Oh, yeah. There's another trailer for Charlie's Angels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, all the women, they'd be independent. Mm-hmm. Throw mm-hmm. your hands up at me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did, did you see this trailer? Yes. Yes. But did you see the other movies? I haven't seen them. I feel I have seen at least one of them, yes. Yeah. One of them has Chris, Crispin Glover in it, or maybe both of them have Crispin Glover in it. Crispin Glover yes. is in one of those movies. Yes, he is. I suspect. Yeah, you better believe it. <laughs> wow, your detective skills are so good. Maybe you could be a Charlie's Angel. I think I could. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could do a high kick. That's right. If I stretch for four years. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it looks fine. I, I I wish it was better because looked better because the car I like the car. Cast is good. Kristen Stewart yeah. and who else we got in is there? Elizabeth, Elizabeth Banks actually directing this? Ah, uh, maybe. But she's also Bosley. Yes. Which has also been Bernie Mac and uh, Bill Murray. Yeah. Oh, it's directed by Elizabeth Banks. Yeah, it's Naomi Scott as well who was in Aladdin. She's really uh-huh. good in that. Patrick Stewart's in Patrick it for a minute. Stewart's apparently in it for a minute. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, it yeah. Um, it looks very much like. Oh, there's three different actors as Bosley. There's Elizabeth Banks. Jimon Honsu and Patrick Stewart. Oh, they're a series of Bosleys. Yeah. Okay. Are they robots? Is it a mask? What's going on? Are they a unit? Are they a three-pull? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, also, the saint's in it. It says just says, the saint. Someone's playing the saint. Really? Yeah. The real the saint? I don't What is the guy so. called the saint? Good question. Oh, I hope it's the real the saint. Yeah. Val Kilmer. I love how people are like, oh, come on. Are we really going to ruin the legacy? They're bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Uh-huh. I assume. Yes, sure. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Yeah. 
So but what what legacy? But that's the thing. What legacy are they ruining? Are they ruining the legacy of the two previous movies? Are they l- ruining the legacy of the TV series with Farrah Fawcett? I think at this point it's the the movies. The movies, yeah, exactly. Remember yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but there's I think there's room here for this to be good, but I can't say this um this grabbed me. It looks a bit pandery in terms. Do you remember remember Ocean's Eight? Yeah, and it was kind of like, what if a heist, but it's at a fashion show? What if though? This one was this one's a, like. What if super tough badasses, but they've got big wardrobes? At a fashion show, obviously. Yeah, at a fashion show. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh-huh, yeah. So you think it's going to be great? I think it's going to be great. Well, I'm glad that you said that. Oh, yes. Because I'm going to hold you to it when it comes out. When it comes out, it must be great. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much all the news from this week. Uh, look, bloody, what's its name got renewed? <laughs> Came back to cinemas, didn't it? Or whatever. Uh, Endgame. Yes, it did. Yeah, I didn't go see it because apparently there's like a deleted scene with the Hulk, but it's unfinished and there's a Stanley tribute and uh-huh. some other things. When you say unfinished, mm. is it Mike Ruffalo in the ping pong balls? No, it's like a, he looks like a PS1 character. His mouth doesn't move and he oh, okay. runs into a house fire or something. And he's like, I'm the Hulk. So Mike Ruffalo's not involved at all? He voices the character. Okay, right. Maybe sure. Mo Captain on the uh-huh. I don't. I haven't yeah, seen right, it right. and I will not see it until it's on YouTube. I would really like to see some un would stuff of like, you know, the diner scene. Yeah. Just Mark Ruffalo there. That'd be fun. Absolutely. But we're not getting that. Well, we will when the it releases on digital on July 31st, I believe. Yeah. So there you go. Would you watch, would you pay money to watch? One without special effects? The whole movie without special effects. I probably wouldn't sit through it. But I, yeah, uh, but uh, I'd like to skim it and go. That's interesting. Yeah, how they did that. And thing. plus, a lot of scenes would just be black. I think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Yeah. I saw that they changed the Captain Marvel suit from the one they used on set. They altered it digitally. All right. Because right. this was filmed like before they filmed. Oh, I see. The Captain Marvel movie and so on and so mm-hmm. forth. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'd I'd like to look at all the costumes and go. That's a bit different than in the movie. Do you think it's easier to act these days or harder to act these days? Well, as an actor, yes. Because in real life, as you know, I'm not really a podcaster. I'm a terrific actor pretending to be a podcaster. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> but... That's obviously why I'm asking for your, yeah. your expertise. <laughs> because uh, you think that I'm a podcaster, but, re- but like, but really, st- actually, I'm good at interviews in real life. So I've been masquerading as somebody who's bad at interviews and doesn't like doing them. But actually, I love doing them, and I'm doing one right now. You're a good actor. Thank you. I, maybe I should you, be an actor. Then, do you think it's easier to act or not? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's easy to act. Yeah? Yeah, I've been doing it for a long time. But don't you think, isn't it, doesn't it, it seems harder. I mean, I guess like location wise, it would be easier because they're like, just step in front of this green room next yeah. to your hotel or whatever. Uh-huh. I don't, it's, see, I'd imagine that would be more challenging than if you're actually on set. I mean, actors say that, don't they? Yeah. But also like, I feel, I feel like you, there's less, I, I think, you know what, I'm basing it entirely around like, you don't have to cry anymore. Because they can just add one. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. there's no. Yeah. You can add anything. You you can. They can take out blinks. Yeah. They can. I mean, like, that's in all the big stuff. Yeah, that's though. true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Like if you're doing a little independent feature. Yeah. Yeah. You got to You got to do that acting. You got to do that crime for real, man. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You're Ben Kingsley. You're doing a Dungeons and Dragons movie. They need you to cry. <laughs> that's right. You did any one of them? Because you're in a Dungeons and Dragons movie. <laughs> He's probably in the second one. Yeah. They tried to. They had to see you. I am not crying. For did that you see one, the I trailer believe. for that Ian McKellen Helen Mirren movie? Oh, uh, no, I didn't. Soon. What's it called? I can't remember. The Good... Helen Kellen. Nope. The Good... Come on, that's something. a good joke. <laughs> that's, yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's good. That's their... <laughs> that would be their couple name. I need you to acknowledge it. That was good. I liked it. <laughs> Sorry, um, God. It's, it's, a, it's a movie about Helen Mirren as a rich widow and Ian McKellen is trying to scam her. It's not a comedy. Oh. It's like a it's grim situation. But who's scamming who? I think it's mostly just him scamming her. Oh, so we know. Yeah. Well, I'm not seeing it then, am I? No, all right. <laughs> no, that sounds... Okay. Okay. I still want to watch his Sherlock Holmes movie, the one where he's 90 and he's trying to solve a case, but he's got dementia. All oh, right. Yeah. I, it's available on multiple streamings. So, yeah. yeah. I can't Would you rather... Would you, wouldn't you rather watch Holmes and Watson, a, a movie where the everyone making it was suffering from dementia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> With the special effects turned off? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah, it's ad time, and what better time than an ad for an ad time? This is what fine, better right? time than an ad for an ad? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, unless we're overlaying two ads on top of one another. Did you know, Mason? Yes, that the average guy will spend three thousand hours of his lifetime shaving. No, don't waste four months <laughs> of your life overpaying for poor performing razors. Get Harry's a razor that's so sharp you can shave less often. And it can save you money because it's just $2 per blade. They are. They're a good, they are a good blade. 
That's me, right. Let me bloody tell you. Do you like the closeness? I do like the do closeness. Do you like the glide? Yes. Do you like the weight of the handle? It's a good glide. Let me tell you about the glide. Go on. Because I didn't have access to my Harry's Rose a while back, so I had to get another brand, and I'm not going to name the brand because I'm not sure if we're paying out on other brands <laughs> this week or not. Sometimes it's like, roast another brand this week, and sometimes they're like, don't roast a brand this week. But anyway, I had to use another brand, and I and I put it, like, like I went to shave around in the neck and stuff, and it left this weird residue from the... From the r- lubricating strip. No was, good. Ugh, Carrie's has never done that. That should like, not happen. Yeah, unpleasant. Yeah. Well, we do have a special offer for listeners because you can join the 10 million people who have tried Harry's by going to harrys.com slash weekly planet. They, they, were just, they were just regular guys. Two regular guys. Just regular was, boys. They were sick of bloody getting ripped off for, for razors with like shit gimmicks and flex balls and, <laughs> and, and bizarre handles. Just that, a couple of Joe lunch pails. I tell you comparing that. Comparing their razors out of their wrong. metal lunch boxes on the top of a big <laughs> railing up in the sky on the, on, the, on the skyscraper they were yeah, building, you know? You know it. Yeah. Uh, Harry's actually brought a world ca- class blade factory in Germany that have been making some of the best uh, blades in the world for 99 years. They spotted the factory from up, their, on, the, up yeah. on the railing by where they were building the skyscraper. Exactly. They're like, we need a bit a piece let's, of that. Let's do that, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so now they can provide great quality at factory direct plot prices because they cut up the... I'm sorry, what? Factory, factory direct, direct plot. plot. <laughs> well, we haven't eaten, Mason, when I'm recording this out, all right? Cut me some bloody slacker do, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> and also, if you don't like the shave, let them know they give you a full refund. Here we go. This is what you get in your trial set if you want to give it a go. A weighted ergonomic handle for an easy grip. Five blade razor with a lubricating strip and trimmer blade. The best in the business lubricating strip. Absolutely. Uh, For a close shave. uh, Rich lathering shave gel that'll leave you smelling great. And a travel blade cover to keep your razor dry and easy on the go. Listeners of this show can can redeem that offer at harrys.com slash weeklyplanet. Make sure you go to harrys.com slash weeklyplanet to redeem your offer and let them know that we sent you to help support this show. Say it like that, with that intonation at the end. That's, I've already said it like that. Put some, know. yeah, put some umlauts <laughs> at the end. I don't know. Yeah. Some on, accents, yeah. On, on with the show. Uh, anyway, it's uh, Spider-Man... has got a new movie. I've already seen it. Have you seen it? Not yet. Let's talk about it. Right now? No, we can't because you haven't seen it. We got, we've got... We talked about this a while ago, but uh, Marky Mark reminded us on Twitter this week, said, in a q and I suggested... Wait, Marky Mark from the Funky Bunch? No, it's Marky Mark. Oh. Yeah, it's a twist. It's a play on words. Marky like a scrolling like Marky? Callen. Or Marky like a... M-A-R-Q-U-E-E. Okay, cool. Like the scrolling thing. Got it? Yep. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, in the q and I suggested you guys do a weird and alternate Spider-Man in lead up to Far From Home. You guys said you'd be down. Uh, you should do that to talk about Child's Play. I haven't seen Charles. Play. I also haven't seen Charles play. But it's what if Siri got in a robot and tried to stab you? Isn't there's three haunted toy movies out currently? Is Charles that, play, Toy Story, New Annabelle, and Toy Story Four. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, no, they're not haunted in Toy Story. They've got human parts in them, remember? Oh, they have ki- human, yeah, human <laughs> organs in them. Woody yeah. has a kidney he has in his a kidney. He's powered kidney. by yeah. a human kidney. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's a good idea. I mean, and before the show, before this, you asked me, you're like, have we done this? And I don't know. I don't <laughs> think so. We might have done a video. Yeah, we probably have. Yeah. I know we've done different various villains and whatnot. And Might have been villains. Yeah. So mm-hmm. there you go. Yeah. Oh, I need to mention this. It's already got like 3 million views, but there's a 16-bit scene of Avengers Endgame. I can't believe I didn't mention this earlier, that, that John Stratman put together with Kenny on music. It's incredible. Have you seen it? Kenny G? Yeah, Kenny G. Wow. Yeah. Just just action and flute. <laughs> you know how he does it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, it's incredible. And there's a really interesting making of afterwards where John talks about how he puts it together. Because a lot of people are like, how do you do this? He tells you how to do this. But you'll never be just as get good. skilled as get computer. Yeah. You'll never animated. be as good as John. Okay, wow. don't even bother. That's my advice. Anyway, <laughs> so it, it, it's the part of the clip he's explaining it, and then you're just over the top, going, "Don't bother, forget I'm it." Not, I'm talking over him because <laughs> why even bother? Just give up now. Uh, it's really interesting. Anyway, so different variations of Spider-Man. We don't need to explain. Uh, we're going to go through the, some weird ones, some well-known ones. We don't need to explain the actual Spider-Man, do we? Maybe we do. Okay, go. Peter Parker. He's a nerd. Everyone hates him. Everyone <laughs> some, hates his dumb guts. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I'm basing this on the fact that we've recently rewatched yes. the original Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, and everyone hates his guts all the time. Yeah, that's good. For no reason. What did he do? What you know did what I mean? he do? I really everyone like hates video. him. Yeah. Mm. Got another one. We're doing Spider Man 2 on Tuesday. Okay. Come down. Yeah, nice. Mm. Nice. Yeah, everyone hates him. And that's it. 
pretty much the premise of that, those movies. Yeah. Even get even get the, the the moral lesson isn't with great power comes great responsibility. It's what did you do? It, exactly. <laughs> it's it's if you have an unlikable enough face, it doesn't matter what spider powers you get. <laughs> People are still going to hate you. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, and he gets spider powers from a spider, and then he'd be Spider Man. Are all these going to be like this? They're all going to be like these. Get spider powers from Spider Man. Okay, <laughs> I think a good one to start on though is Ultimate Spider Man. Yes, which is basically for people to probably know this, but it's a it's a spin off dimension of the regular Marvel dimension where they basically got to redo all the heroes' origins and tweak them slightly and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. They eventually merged the universes. Some good guys are bad guys now and so forth. <laughs> Mister Fantastic is now a super bad guy, uh, but the the Peter Parker from this universe is mostly the same, but he stayed in high school for for long. They like they liked that aspect of it, didn't they? For they wanted to bring him back to being a cool high school dude. Oh, I thought you meant this version of Peter Parker stayed in high school longer than the normal Peter Parker would. He may have. Like maybe he's a bit slow. He may actually actually he may have, because I think <laughs> I isn't the origin of the Spider Man comics like he's pretty much he's straight into college. Yeah, for I sure. Don't, I don't know. Okay, all right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he's, he dies. He's dead. Mm-hmm. The Peter Parker ultimate version. And that's where we get Miles Morales, who steps up. <laughs> so, yeah. Did you know that, Because he gave birth to Miles Morales exactly. in his death throes. Yeah. 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 yeah, I remember There's that. not a hell of a lot of differences between the regular Peter Parker version and this version. Correct. I mean, there's, there's hair. They've changed their hair, obviously. <laughs> They've modernized it. They've modernized it. Yeah. yeah. Have you read any of this? I love the original, uh, yeah. the the Ultimate Spider Man for a while. Yeah, sure. But the 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 problem with the Ultimate Universe was that the the idea of it was okay. It's a modern continuity. What if you know these people became you know the uh, Spider Man, the X Men, the Fantastic Four, etc. In modern times, yes, and we're free of continuity, and things don't have to go the way they did in the last one. And we can we, keep him in high school, and you forever. can just you can just pick up a Spider Man comic and read, and it's just a Spider Man adventure, and don't worry about the thirty years of prior you know continuity or whatever. Sure. The problem was that then it just became a race to be like doing all the events. Let's do let's do Venom again. Yeah. Let's do the Clone Saga again. Yeah. Uh, what if uh, what what's this version of the Scorpion look like? What's this version of Doctor Octopus look yeah. like? Let's just throw them all in, and it just became. A, equally as convoluted in less time way quicker yeah yeah so yeah and i guess that was a large part of its undoing right i think so yeah because yeah, it did do pretty well initially didn't it like i guess most reboots in comics yeah that, for sure that are uh-huh. done well at least yeah, yeah. yeah like it did give us miles morales who witnesses peter parker's death and then gets his own spider powers and you've seen spider-verse i've seen spider-verse yeah. I love but Spider-verse. the spider-verse version of him is different than the ultimate comics version because he sees him get killed in the street i believe by the green goblin Mm. I can't remember, but that sounds right. Anyway, now he's jumped over. There's There was a Spider-Verse event, and they were in the same universe. Do you think the general public's aware that there's two Spider-Men? Like the the ultimate one and the regular one? That's yes. a good question. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Also, you... there's way more than that. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah. Do you think the general public is aware that any of the spider Characters are different characters. Or do you think they just think it's one guy in a different suit every time? That's a, I genuinely don't know. You know, because yeah. oftentimes I'll see you in a different outfit and I'm like, is that the same guy? Yeah. <laughs> so you. I'm a good actor also. Yeah, you are. You are hard for actor. you. It's, it's true, yeah. Yeah. Makes and it... I can't recognize your face. Of course. Yes. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. People might know that. Yes or no? Tweet in <laughs> at Wikipedia Brown. Well, look, I, I think the uh, the actual answer is that in a comic book universe, of course they would. They go, of course that's Spider Man, and that's. Uh, I think some people would. Yeah, but it's the same way in this universe where like, is this Marvel movie connected to whatever Marvel movie? Yeah, Superman, Batman, Spider Man. Is it the same universe? Who cares? Is it the same guy? It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah, I think in real life people are like, is this, that's just a weird blur. Yeah, is that weird blur the same as the other weird blur? Yeah, probably. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to do this now, Mason. What's that? Uh, ben Riley, go on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the Ben Riley? Oh, so read the new Spider-Man uh, decades. What's that called? The one that I said. Oh, um, generations. McGee? Oh, I wrote it down. Hang on. No, I'll if get you, to it first. If you want a, uh, if you want a Good summation voice, of yeah. that, it's called Spider-Man Life Story. Yeah, is the one you're thinking. They of. do this version. They do that yeah. really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, Ben Riley, go. <sighs> okay. So Spider-Man is a villain called the Jackal. In the 80s. Miles Warren. And he's a geneticist. Yep. And then there's like, there was like a one-off issue mm-hmm. where Spider-Man gets knocked out by the Jackal and he wakes up and there's just another Spider-Man there. Yeah. He's identical. He's got the same costume. He's got the same powers or whatever. Turns he, out, mirror. It's just a mirror. Just a mirror. <laughs> yeah. 
puts it puts it out on the puts it out on the lawn. He's like, anybody want to buy this mirror? Puts five five bucks for this mirror. Somebody takes it. You know, it always happens. Yeah. You want to get rid of something for free? Put it on your lawn. Put be br- like, put be like five it, yeah. bo- five bucks and quiet. Within someone will steal it. Definitely, because it has value. Exactly. Anyway, mm. but and then take him to court. Yeah. Anyway, my, my uh, the jackal's just like, I cloned your Spider Man. Yeah. And you got to fight this clone. And he's like. Okay, and then they fight. Uh, then the, the the clone is seemingly killed. Yep, and then throws him in a smoke. Throws stack. him in a smokestack. Cool, that's and he, fine. Then he shows. Then he goes back to his house, and he's like, "Well, I guess I was the real one." Yeah, because I didn't die yeah. just then. And, and then he just lives. Then he just goes on. on and that. I don't want to think about and it. I'll never. I'm never going to think about this sentient being that I killed. So the mirror threw him out. Interesting. That's correct. Yeah. Exactly. And then I think in the so basically what happened was that in the '90s, the sales of the Spider-Man book were kind of dropping off and they were like how do we revitalize spider-man is that how most of these spider people come into almost being? i'm looking certainly. at this list I'm like, almost certainly huh. yeah wow even the movie like they brought in andrew garfield because yeah <laughs> Sorry, exactly God. so they were like because they were like why 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 uh why are sales of the spider-man books dropping and they're like well it's because he's not as relatable anymore because he's you know wrong no, you're not wrong. Okay. I'm saying I think that's wrong. Yeah, right. To be like, well, he, he, he's not relatable because he's he grew up. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, I, I think the reason sales were dropping on the spider Are we not books, relatable because we're getting older? No, we're very relatable. Okay, we're 21 to 25. <laughs> we're a different age. But uh, the, I think sales were dropping because there was like four book, four to five yeah. books, Spider-Man books a month, and you had to read all of them. Mm. And people were like, well, I can re- either read all of them, which I can't afford, or I'll just read none. And so yeah. people stopped doing that. But they were like, Spider-Man's not... Uh, he's not youthful enough. Yep. He's out of school. He's got a good job. His wife's a supermodel, etc. Mm. Uh, so initially, I think the plan was to have him get divorced. Love it. But then he's just a sad divorced man. Love it. So they were like, "What we'll do is we'll get. What we'll do is we'll introduce a clone of the, the clone. We'll say the clone's back, mm. and then original Spider-Man can retire, and then we'll bring the clone in, yep. and he will be the new Spider-Man. And he's swinging and he's single and he's." Back to school? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't have his GED or whatever, so they'll he'll sure. go back to high school. Uh, Which I don't think is a terrible idea. Yeah. So they were, then they were just like, so they so they reintroduced the clone. He what happened is he went to he went to Peter Parker's house, and then he realized that Peter Parker was already there, mm. and so he's like, oh my my life, what will I do? Sixth so, day. Exactly, real sixth day situation. Yeah. So he took the name Ben Riley, and then he uh, he went he moved to the West Coast. Why Riley? Riley is. Aunt May's maiden name, okay. I think. All right, all right. Okay. And then uh, and then he went over the West Coast and he took the name Scarlet Spider and he created what some people believe is the best Spider-Man costume of I all think time. you but just say that all the time. No, right? I think it's... I, I oh, it's one it. you hate. Yeah. I hate it. I think it's I like bad. that one. This That's right. One. I like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. It's yeah. a blue hoodie yeah, one. Right? Yeah, 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 I like yeah. that one. Yeah. And then anyway, the, basically what happened was... Uh, they intended the story to be like a quick chain, quick switcheroo, yeah. but then sales went right up. They went through the roof, yep. and so they just kept the story going for years. Clones upon clones and books upon went books. For, right? Went forever, exactly, yeah. yeah. And that's why you left comics, Exactly, yeah. yeah. The comics industry. I stopped yes. writing Spider-Man. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're a good that's actor. Right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like the char- character of Ben Riley. I like that idea, yeah. but I can't say that I've read any of this. Oh, I've read too many of them. Yeah, so... Or some maybe bits and pieces, but uh-huh. oh no, I certainly wouldn't go back and read them now. Yeah, right. But I like again, like with that new comic we we're talking about. I like that core idea, but I don't need four hundred books forever telling me about it. Exactly. And yeah. is and then because they swap and like who's who, and maybe I was the original and whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. There was there was there's revelations that maybe Peter Parker was the clone. Yeah. And then the, then the, then uh, Ben Riley is killed, mm-hmm. and then he turns to dust, which is the the sing, single uh, signal that you are the clone. But sure. he's back again somehow. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> maybe because that was a clone. Of him oh, and the original the still alive. I don't know. Doesn't matter, does doesn't, it? Doesn't really doesn't matter. No, it's really good. Uh-huh. That's enough on that. Then I, I think. think so. Yeah, uh, I bring this I, up. I believe they attempted the clone saga in the Ultimate Universe as well. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, doppelganger. Just quickly, uh, we did this in a video this week on Spider-Man villains. That basically he's evil Spider-Man with six arms from another dimension. Correct, yes. Yeah. He's uh-huh. got a big snappy face and he's a fractal being or something, right? Yeah, he's, a, he's from a fractal dimension of Actually, fractal demons. did we demons. do it in this video? That was a different video. It was many, many weeks ago. Yeah. We did a that's, spot- what, that's why I'm thinking of yeah. it. We did 25 best Spider-Man villains or whatever. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. I, don't, I can't even remember whether we brought that up. We covered Doppelganger. In the, in last week when we recorded no. that? No. No, we have covered it before though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but then we've got Superior Spider-Man, which yes. I think is a good run of comics that I, I actually really haven't good, finished. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Uh, so what if Spider-Man sales were going down? What if? <laughs> what if? Uh-huh. And so what we do, uh-huh. we put Doc Ock's brain in Spider-Man because he's getting old. Yes. And he wants to be a Spider-Man. And he's like, I'll be a better Spider-Man and I'll yep. run this city like bloody clockwork. I'll have mechanical drones going around doing work for me. Uh, I want to date all the Peter Parkers, like girlfriends and whatever, and steal his memories. And I love him better than he ever could. Better, yeah, but, but wait. Hey, baby, what was your favorite Peter Parker move from back in the day? <laughs> well, get a load of this. <laughs> so he, um, he, uh, he still got Peter Parker in his mind for a little bit, but then he manages to get rid of him. Uh huh. And it's a really good run. I think it is. And is yeah. he the superior Spider Man? In many ways, yes, but then no, I guess. Because doesn't he voluntarily give it up, I believe? In that's the, the new. That's the new. With great power becomes great res- becomes great responsibility. It's <laughs> was I the best Spider Man? Maybe I was, but maybe I wasn't. Maybe I wasn't. So oh, yeah. off I go to oblivion. Mm. So is he? He's been back a few times. He's back yeah. he, from, mm-hmm. but he's got his own body. I guess I think so he sure. does. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not sure where that's at, but no, I think the Doc Ock element changes it in an interesting way. Yeah, yeah, because he knows Spider Man, but then he is Spider Man, <laughs> and isn't that relatable to all of us? Absolutely. Yeah. That's a good run. People should just track that yeah. down, I think, yeah. It's just called Superior Spider-Man, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, the, and the new costume's sick. It is sick. It is sick. Yeah. yeah. It's like the Iron Spider suit, but better. Sicker. Yeah, I don't, I don't love the, the comic version of that. Mm. I don't mind the movie one. Yeah, right. Is that what you're talking about, though? I'm talking about the comic book one. Yeah, yeah. that's what I yeah. thought, yeah. Uh, then sales were dropping. Yes. Then No, <laughs> this is video game stuff. Okay. I just want to talk about Spider-Man 2, the movie, just quickly. And this also applies to one. They're like spin-offs... They're like, they expand on the movies, but they're in their own universes. Or this is the video, video games. games. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because like in the Spider-Man 2, the, the video game, you fight like the Rhino, you fight Mysterio, you fight uh-huh. the Scorpion. They just bring in a bunch of other, you fight Shocker. Yeah, right. I think in, yeah, it's like you fight people, I think, that then show up in later movies maybe even, or a hint at that. I can't remember. Which one do you fight the lizard? Maybe you don't fight the lizard in 2. There's, hint, there's a hint <laughs> towards the lizard. No, you don't fight him. Anyway. Uh, there's Ultimate Spider-Man, the video game, uh-huh. which is kind of like a sequel to this, but that's actually an in-between quill in the actual Ultimate Spider-Man comics. Oh, it's right. set after he fights Venom on a football field, and then you can play as either of them. We've done a car around a garbage. I remember we that, yeah. Them, yeah. Uh-huh. But Spider-Man PS4, I think, is a very good universe that stands on its own. Absolutely, yeah. And we both agree. And it's like, yeah. Sales were dropping on Spider Man video games. <laughs> That's right. There hadn't been one in years. Well, they'd been. No one had bought a copy in years. There'd been a bunch. Uh-huh. None of them were great. Yeah, right. I think there were some okay ones. You yeah. love the web swinging, though. It's so good. Yeah. Some of the best. Uh-huh. Uh, but you're talking about PS4. I'm talking about, didn't you love the Spider Man 2 web swinging? Yeah, uh-huh. I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why don't you marry? You love it so much. I'm already married. I could have married her back then, though. I wasn't married then. Of course, I think it. Yeah, you I missed idiot. my moment. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... Now, now Spider-Man 2, the video game's moved on <laughs> to a second-hand shelf in eBay games. <laughs> but no, do you, do you not like the web swinging in Spider-Man PS4? No, you I love it. it. I yeah. think it's great. Okay, yeah. 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 It's a little bit more forgiving than the PS2 one, mm. which I'm not sure I kind I like as much. Yeah, because mm. when you go near the swing near the ground, it will kind of lift you up just a tad, just to oh, kind I see, of... Right. But uh-huh. it's fine. I mean, it's so fluid and you can run around fire escapes. Again, and, as I've said, there should be a splatter mode. Yeah. Where if you fall a certain height, yep. from a certain height, you die. I like it. I love it. But no, but what I think, they've kind of merged Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield's face for yep. Spider-Man. Uh-huh. I love, I think Yuri something, he did, he voiced the Prince of Persia. Yuri he's, Geller. He's, yes, that's right. The guy who bent spoons. Correct. Mm-hmm. He was a fraud. But he, uh, he, he was. He was a fraud. He's still alive. Is he? So you're saying he was a fraud, but then he learned to do it for real. No, I think he was a fraud and now everyone knows he's a fraud. So he's not a fraud anymore. Because everyone knows uh-huh. he's a liar. Yeah. So does that still make you a fraud? If you openly, know. I remember seeing him once on a TV show, uh, and he did the spoon bending, and our, all I remember is that he he stripped down to his underpants, like to do it just to prove there wasn't any tricks, other tricks involved. And then and he said, and he was like, "Why? What, what does that prove?" I don't know, nothing. But I remember <laughs> that the only re- reason I remember it is because he said. Oh, but people are going to think, oh, he's got a magnet in his ghoulies. He's got a magnet in his ghoulies. <laughs> Nobody thinks that. Well, that's what he said. Now I do. Yeah, now you do. He's probably got a magnet in his ghoulies. Because he's still wearing his underpants, isn't he? That's right. So there Take be, him off. So there could be a magnet in his ghoulies. <laughs> didn't, he, didn't he go on Carson and Carson handed him a spoon and was like, bend this one? Oh, I don't know. And he couldn't. Wow. Because you pre-bend him or whatever you do. Isn't Is that it? insane? What? I know we're talking about Spider-Man <laughs> to some degree. <laughs> 
But isn't it amazing that you could have an entire career? You could be a famous person. Like, we both know who Yuri Geller is. A man <laughs> who hasn't been appeared in public in decades, probably. I don't know. But he's a household name yeah. because he pretended to bend spoons with his mind. Is that better than this, though? Really? What, podcasting? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not comparing him to us. <laughs> I'm saying that it's fascinating yeah. that... that that's his whole bit, and he went around the world. Yeah, and people are. Uh, I think he did. I think he was alleged to have done other stuff. Like I think he had other alleged. Psych- uh, yeah. Oh, so people suspected that he could do other things. <laughs> no, I think he often claimed that he could do other side. He could bend spoons, or- and we're pretty confident he's got a magnet in his coins. <laughs> <laughs> can you find that clip for me, please? He's got, yeah, of course. He's yeah. He says he can bend spoons, but we we think he can actually fly. <laughs> he's just yeah. ke- keeping that concealed. I think if you could fly, that'd be a perfect. Well, yeah. That'd be a perfect ruse. You could be like, no, I'm a psychic, though. I can bend these spoons. To stop people from thinking you could you fly. You could fly, yeah. No, you just fly. All right. Right? Well, yeah, I guess so. Would people be experimenting on you, though? Would they be like, we need you to come into the lab? That's I'd be like, I'm, I'm not doing that. That's what I'm talking I'm about. I'm a podcaster. Yeah. Exactly. That's my first love. Exactly. Flying is yeah. just a hobby. Yeah. So, anyway, Spider-Man PS4 is a great world that they built in that video game, and I'm looking forward to seeing it in other video games. I'm looking forward to the Yuri Geller expansion pack. Me too. We can play as or battle Yuri Geller. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a skin in... There's a skin in that one where you can play Stan Lee, isn't there? Is there a Stan Lee skin in that one? Or is that a different game where you can? You play I don't know. Stan? There's definitely a Spider-Man game where you, you can be Stan Lee. Do you still have? Do you maintain Spider-Man's powers, or yes. do you just have to walk around on the ground? No, you main. You yeah. can look up. You can look up at the skyscrapers, skyscrapers, but not that far because your neck will crick. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I guess we should talk about the move. Geller has oh. claimed his feats are the result of paranormal powers given to him by extraterrestrials. Shut the fuck up! Like, yeah. what? What are you? <laughs> if you came up and said it's a trick, yeah, I think that's yeah, fine. Right. I'd be like, well, that's a good trick. Yeah, because it just God, you can really just say anything, can't you? Anyone can say anything. Under hypnosis, Geller claimed he was sent to Earth by extraterrestrials from a spaceship fifty three thousand light years away. Do they take returns? No, got, it. got it. Got it. Got it. Slightly used. <laughs> uh, uh, yep. He also at one point claimed to teleport a dog through the walls of his house. But he claimed to, did he? Yep. Good I've, stuff. I've seen a dog door, mate. Yeah. I guess we talk about the movies. They're all different universes, aren't they? Done. <laughs> um, you know what? Because I had this thought, actually, today. We watched both Amazing Spider-Man movies and did commentaries on them. Yep. I can't remember a single thing that happened in those We didn't movies. commentary the second one. Didn't we? No, we only did the first right. one. What happens in the first one? It's he fights the, the lizard, it's right? Just, it's just an origin. It's yeah, an origin right. of... Okay. Um, it's fine. Sure. I think. But what happens in it? It's spider. They just do Spider Man. It's the same thing. All right, nice. Again, yeah, cool. You've, you've, you know the one you watched recently with Tobey Maguire. Yep, it's that same thing again. Except right. with a lizard. Yeah, but that's the thing. At least I remember moments from like prior to rewatching Spider Man One, Sam Raimi. Yeah. At least I remembered bits in it. Mm. You know. Well, next time a Spider Man movie comes around, we'll do we'll do those movies again. Good, great. You'll, you'll remember. That's even what less. I want to do. I want to watch the Andrew Garfield <laughs> Spider Man movies again. I want to watch Mark Webb's Spider Man. I'm pretty sure when we reviewed the second one, we were like, it was fine. Mm. I don't. I don't think. I really like the web swinging in that that All second right. one as well. <laughs> I think it's really good. Uh-huh. Yeah, some of the best. Uh, okay, but there's Spider Gwen. We can do. Spider Gwen is uh, from a, people have seen that movie also, haven't they? <laughs> the new bloody Spider Verse movie. Anyway, sales were dropping. Yeah, sales were dropping. <laughs> sales were dropping on Gwen Stacy related books. Correct. Because she'd been dead for decades <laughs> yes. and they hadn't made any. <laughs> and uh, so she, so she's from a dimension where she's Spider Man, Woman, mm-hmm. and she does the Spider Man work. You've seen it, but then of course you got Spider Man Noir, which is a character from before the movie as well. It's like a nineteen thirties. You've seen it. Why am I explaining these? <laughs> uh, Spider Ham, etc. Miguel O'Hara. There's a few future Spider Men, aren't they? That's where true. are they at? The future. Yes, but what are they doing? Fighting crime in the future. Very good. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah. Oh, I love the 2099 universe. Some of it was was there was one that was allegedly written and created by Stan Lee, but I wonder how much input he had. Like in in retrospect, I wonder how much input he had on it. He None? Created, he created Ravage twenty ninety nine, who was like a he was like a like uh, a Venom knockoff. No, he was like a corporate executive. Oh, who became like this? Very twenty ninety nine. I know, right? Yeah. And he became like a like a homeless bum vigilante guy. Okay, and then he got mutant powers. That's a that's quite a ride. It was quite the ride, yeah, yeah, because it feels very much like. It feels like, conceptually, it feels like Stan Lee. Yeah. Because it's like, what if a man 
but he fought crime, you know? That's very it's, Stanley. It's very Stanley, like a very much a big picture yeah. kind of, you know. I can say that. Yeah. Maybe yeah, maybe it was his core idea. Yeah. Uh, there's also the future cartoon that's not 2099 though, isn't there? There's that other one. Oh, Spider-Man Unlimited. Yeah. That's no, that's not the future. Isn't that's it? that's uh, Spider-Man goes to counter Earth, which is an Earth that is on the other side of the sun. Oh, that one. So it's, yeah. <laughs> is that tickets for that? To... The Earth on the other side of the sun. No, you have to catch a shuttle there. Okay. Yeah, you got. Does Yuri Geller know how to get there? Almost certainly, yeah. <laughs> See on Twitter. Let me check. Okay. He's got fourteen thousand followers, and his uh, his image is of his face. Yep. But he's holding two spoons over his eyes. Are the spoons bent or unbent? Uh, they look unbent. Wow. I mean, for now, obviously. Yeah, obviously, yeah. He's got one follower that I know that I follow, and that's Peyton Reed, who directs the Ant Man movies. <laughs> well. See you, bloody go. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah. Uh huh. Hmm. So that's that cartoon then, I guess. Oh, and we're not going to talk about Spider Man twenty nine. No, no, no. We are. Yeah. Okay. I love. Yeah. The, I just was going to say I love the twenty ninety nine because they have all the. It's the goblins back and et cetera and so forth, don't they? They do most of the villains, but the future versions. Yes. Um. And I don't know how much I have to say about Spider Man twenty nine. Well, you just told me that you love it and I you want to talk about it forever. I know. Yeah. I don't like this. You like the suit design. I don't like the suit design. Don't you? On that one, yeah. What don't you like about it? I don't know. It's just too weird and and much. I don't like the mask. He can fly also, can't he? He can glide. Whatever. Regular Spider-Man can glide. Yeah, no, I know that, but he feel I feel like he's got more. Bo- he's got more boost stuff, doesn't he? Doesn't he have more boost stuff? <laughs> no, I think he's got more boost stuff. He doesn't have any more boost stuff. Also, most villains in that era can probably fly. I assume. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So where's the advantage? I don't know. I just think he's not as special in the future. In this particular future, right? Because, but I guess you could say that about any run of comic book um, Spider-Man, because there's always people who match him, if not more. Like in abilities or things he can do and stuff. Oh, such. I see. Yeah, but that's, that's I mean, that's that you you want to keep Spider Man as the underdog, right? Yeah, sure. So, you know. So, how do you do that then in this particular universe? Well, you, you, you make sure he can't fly. Okay. Yeah. But he can fly a little bit, can't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to, do you have more to say about this? Um, what do you want to know? Your favorite. Well, what do you want to know about Spider Man 2099? Nothing at all. You don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to know his origin? Okay, sure. Um, genetic tampering. <laughs> No, I didn't want to know his origin. <laughs> okay, right. He's not. No, he's a. He's he works for Alchemax, which in the in the oh, yeah. twenty ninety nine universe is like one of the big evil mega corporations, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're basically they're building like DNA templates to create super soldiers, like that are that are versions of the you know characters from yes. Age of Heroes. Are they using that spider DNA and stuff from the Peter Parker? No, era? they're sort of building it. They're building it from scratch. Apropos of nothing. Apropos of nothing, precisely. Uh, okay, good. Right, and he uh, and Miguel O'Hara basically gets poisoned, and he decides he's going to go into the labs and like put his. Is he poisoned by bureaucrats and such? By bureauc- bureaucracy. Yeah. Yeah, but also poison. No, that's what I mean. Like, oh, yeah. They get him, like... Yeah, they poison him. They poison him to blackmail him, basically. Right, okay. And then he's like, okay, well, I'm going to go into the lab and I'm going to put my own genetic template back on me and that'll mm. cure it. But he actually inadvertently puts a Spider-Man template over him and he gets Spider-Man powers. And he's pretty happy about it? Or is yeah. he like, I'd rather not... Thank you very much. I can't even fly. I fly, <laughs> fly a little bit. Maybe this, <laughs> this version of me does. He doesn't bit. fly at all. He you, flies a little bit. He does <laughs> not. He absolutely does not. Where are you getting that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay. I might be thinking of a different version of Spider-Man that can fly, or I may be thinking of Batman Beyond, who can just fly. Are you thinking of, of a bird? I've never seen a bird, so I'm probably not thinking of a bird. Okay, yeah. right. It's Batman Beyond can fly. Yes, uh-huh. which I also disagree with. Not really? that he can fly. Yes. I disagree that he should be able to fly. <laughs> because Batman traditionally doesn't fly. Yeah. But also in like the later series of Batman, like the Batman animated series, mm. he was just swanning about on a jetpack a lot of the time. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Well, you would. Yeah. We said, well, that's exactly it. <laughs> and there's, you know, occasionally you'll see a Batman one shot or something like that. And he's just using like, like anytime Batman uses a, te- a Justice League teleporter or something yeah. like that. I'm like, that's cheating, Batman. Yeah. yeah. I know it exists in that universe. Yeah. But I dislike. Or he's got like a crazy armor. Yes, it's like exactly. Immune yeah, to yeah. everything and, yeah, and exactly. whatever makes him super strong. Exactly. It's like, why don't you use that all the time? Yeah, good question. They never, yeah. Because mm-hmm. he's a real man with he's real, real. That's right. He doesn't want to. Why don't you just wrench your arms out of your socket every night, swinging about the city, you your normal dumb man, ass. your yeah. dumbass? Put the robot suit on. Exactly. Uh, does Miguel O'Hara, I know he does some time traveling. Well, he does in that Spider Man, in the Spider Verse, well, not time traveling, Dimension Tops in the Spider Verse uh-huh. movie. He's played by Oscar Isaac in the yes. post credits. But. Is, he, is Peter Parker still alive in the future at any point? No. Okay, so he's well dead. Wait. Do we know how he's dead? Wait. Wait. No, he's dead. Okay. Yeah. But is he? 
You know, it's one of those things. Definitely dead. It's one of those things where they're like, no, he's here. (laughs) No, he's definitely dead. Okay. Yeah. Uh, But they've met multiple times. Um, Steve Rogers is still alive, though. How's he look? Great. So he doesn't age. Oh, I think he got frozen again. <laughs> God, that's unlucky. Or yeah. lucky. Yeah. Uh-huh. Does he hate the future? He's like, oh, I just got the hang of phones. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> Fuck and this. now I've got hologram phones. This Spider-Man flies, I think. I yeah. suspect. <laughs> <laughs> it's blowing my mind. Because like in the forties, we didn't have any Spider-Man, and then then in the modern the modern day, or as they call it here, the past, there was a Spider-Man, but he didn't fly. And then now the Spider-Man, I think he flies a little bit. It's tough to say. <laughs> I feel like Steve Rogers is the kind of guy who, like me, can't tell the difference between flying and gliding. Uh-huh. <laughs> I feel like it's it's all like just some foreign concept. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we spent a lot of time on that. What about Spider Girl slash Spider Woman? Different characters, different abilities. Yeah. Uh-huh. Different Spider. Well, there's two Spider Women. Whatever. There's two Spider Women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So one's not related to Peter Parker at all, and not bit and powers are magical or something. Is that right? Or she, no, that's not right. What's the one <laughs> who people who's not related in any way to Jessica Peter Parker? Drew, yes, is who you're that's the one. Of, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I was going to say Nancy Drew, but I'm like, no, that's, <laughs> that's a different person. That's a hero of a, in a different way. Correct. Yeah. You know, Sp- that Spider Woman, I believe. I think we've done a video on Spider Woman. Mm, we probably have. All right. Yeah. She was radio as a child. She was radiation poisoned, and then she was put in like a. Oh, we definitely have done this. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Her father puts her in like a genetic accelerator situation, and then when she escapes. Spider powers. Spider powers. Yeah. But not from a spider. No. Yeah. And she can fly a little bit, maybe. So what's Spider Girl? Well, Spider Girl is the daughter of Mary Jane and Peter Parker mm. from the a, a different potential Marvel future. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. And what about the other Spider Woman? No idea. Let's look her up. <laughs> <laughs> but the all I know about the other uh, Spider Woman yep. is that the Venom costume is based on her costume. Oh, she that's how she got first. it first, didn't she? Wow. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, That's crazy. I know. I'm just looking at the Wikipedia here. Yes. There is six different versions of uh, <laughs> Ben Riley. Five, sorry. Five. Yeah. Tell me about them. No. Okay. <laughs> They're different. They're all slightly different. Ugh. But if you look at the Peter, you go to the, the Peter Parker and there's maybe 148 variations. Oh, probably about 120 because I ran a search on the word search on the page. All right. Yeah. And I cannot possibly pick one at random. Pick one at random. See what it does. Oh wow! I actually had this one down. I'll pick a different one. It's a Marvel Zombies version. Oh yes, that I picked. But I can talk a bit about that in a second. Okay, this Peter Parker is from Earth two five six six three. Yes, I'm listening. Uh, Is this random? Yep. Similar to Earth. uh, History is unknown. Similar to Earth 616, <laughs> but with the events of the Spider-Man clone saga, saga playing out differently, the key point of difference is that Norman Osborn was indeed killed in his bout with Spider-Man after he murdered Gwen Stacy, whilst his son, Harry Osborn, survived his climactic fight with his former friend. With Harry in place as Norman as a surprise mastermind of the clone saga, events played out differently. Among the notable changes, Aunt May was never kidnapped and was present for the entirety of the events, and Judas Traveller and the screen never became involved. Spider-Man... His life minor ch- characters <laughs> Gaunt and uh, Su- Seward Trainer were not involved, and Ben Riley became Spider Man sooner. Jack was planned differed somewhat because there was no spider side or virus unleashed on the populace, and Peter's doubts about the status of the original didn't cause him to join the Jackal's side for a time. Harry tried cloning Norman, but without the, golems, uh, the goblin serum in his DNA, he was sane and sacrificed himself to stop his son's revenge scheme. Perhaps the most significant difference Baby May was not lost to her parents, and Ben Riley survived to go live a life of his own. What a wonderful parallel universe! <laughs> what a what a lovely what a lovely time for everyone. So he's basically a, yeah. The clone Except for Aunt May, who was who was very traumatized because she had to watch the whole thing. Apparently, exactly. Yeah, right. Anyway, where do you go on Spider Woman? The other one, <clears throat> Julia Carpenter. Mm-hmm. A secret government group called the Commission decided to create their own superhero. Okay. Uh, can uh, she, she was convinced to be part of an athletic sub uh, study. Uh, mm. During the experiment, they accidentally injected Julia with the mix of spider venom and, venom and exotic plant extracts. Very nice. That's it. That's her origin. Like a guarana? Yeah, like a guarana. Yeah, probably a ginseng. Mm. You know? That's why you don't know anything about it, because yeah. who cares? Yeah. Is that right? And Red Bull gives you wings. It certainly does. With which to fly. Don't drink it, it's poison. <laughs> uh, what about William Brack, the British version? Oh, that yeah. is, I don't know anything about this version. Spider-Man UK. Yes. Mm-hmm. So basically it's, you know, like Captain Britain and whatever. It is, yeah. Spider-Man, he's he's yeah. one of the Braddock family. I yeah. believe he's from the, the clone, not the, the clone, sorry, the, the, one of the Spider-Verse, uh-huh. whatever. I, I like the costume on that one, the, the, uh-huh. Union, the Union Jack <laughs> on the thing. I think it's cool. You know what I hate about regional superheroes? Okay. With the exception of Captain America. Right. Why would the British version of Spider-Man wear a Union Jack? Because he's British. I know. 
but American Spider-Man doesn't have the American flag on himself. Because he was the first. He swings around the American flag sure. while Chad Kroger's hero plays. <laughs> he doesn't wear... I mean, his costume's red and blue. That is certainly true. Yeah. I can't disagree with that. Yeah. That's a good but question. But I, I, don't, I just don't like regional superheroes where it's like, I'm Captain Australia. You know? Yeah, and he's got the boxing kangaroo flag, he's which is the our flag. Exactly, yeah. Why don't they change it to that legitimately? Because with boxing kangaroo. Yes. Not just a kangaroo. Boxing, of course. A bo- yes. <laughs> which flag do you identify more with? You've got the Union Jack, which is listen. a British thing, yep. obviously, uh-huh. which I don't have a problem with. Yep. Uh, <laughs> just, so people are clear. Just, just so people are clear on your yeah. politics. You don't have a problem yeah. with the Union Jack. And the Southern Cross, which is just basically being stolen by bogans for bad tattoos and stickers on cars for racists or whatever. <laughs> that's, gen- that's the general concern. Yeah, no, I agree, general yeah. idea, unfortunately. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, it's a series of stars in the sky that now, you you know, that I mostly associate with fuckwits. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> not all. Yeah. You, I mean, when, not, I look, not when, all. I, when I look up at the, in the beautiful night sky and I see it, I go, hmm, somebody's punching their dad right now. <laughs> you know? And vice versa. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It ends in a blue. Yeah, absolutely. I believe it ends in a blue. <laughs> not it ends in a blue, mate. Uh, so the zombie Spider-Man from the zombie Marvel Zombies universe... Uh, it, this is who's your what kind of, it, people out there? Yep. If you're not from America, <laughs> give tell me a regional superhero that you have. What do you got? What do you have? And it can't be like a shopping center mascot. Send an image. Send send us something good. And does it have does it have your flag integrated yeah. in it? Can it be local? Like like a like a local like a town or a yeah uh, maybe yeah sure okay. I think it's also the only the only like foreign superheroes we get are kind of again they're like you know it's it's Captain Spain or whatever yeah right I what so. what has Spain got that isn't Captain Spain bullfighting right but that's also kind of cliched as it well is very isn't much it is, like in yeah. the comic books whenever they're like we're brought in heroes from all the world <laughs> to save the the world it's his El Bullfighter <laughs> that's right and yeah. there's you know. The geisha, and he is whatever. Like it's a man with a pretzel on his chest. He's from Germany, right? <laughs> exactly. A buttery pretzel. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, zombie Spider-Man. Anyway, from, let us know. Yeah, zombie I'm... dimension. A virus infects all the superheroes, most of them. Yes, and they just go on a bloody tear, mate, eating uh-huh. everybody. Uh-huh. Uh, they lose their mind until they eat people, and then they re- regain their consciousness and civility. And they regret it. And they regret it, which is what happens to Spider-Man because he eats Mary Jane and Aunt May. <laughs> And because that's there's... pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, it's a grim comic. There's a few of them. There's like yeah. multiple volumes. I think I read three, but there's more than that. Uh, but they end up pretty much eating everybody on Earth. Yes. And then they go out and they get they eat Galactus and get his powers. Yes. And they basically travel the galaxy and just consume literally every planet everywhere uh-huh. until there's nothing left, and they're forced to come back to Earth. But the thing about this version is. Once you don't eat for a fairly like a certain amount of time, the craving goes away. Huh. Yeah, and you kind of regain your kind of sanity. Probably should have just gone to bed for a bit. Exactly. You know, woken up feeling fresh as yeah. a daisy. So that's that version. Uh-huh. I'm not sure whether he's still around. Probably, I don't know. Because they, they fall apart and uh-huh. so on and so forth, don't yeah, they? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want to see, if you're in that universe, you want to get someone like Wolverine who regenerates. Just keep chipping away at him. Yeah, right. That's what you'd do. Right? <laughs> I guess. But we also don't know how, like, that version, like, it could be that if a zombie bites you or, like, yeah. Eats at you. Maybe your regeneration power. No, but you stops. just chip bits off him. You don't bite into him. Oh, with it like a chisel or something. Exactly. Yeah, or like one of those one of those buzzy things that you get kebab meat off of. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. You just grind away at him just for a bit. Him. You get it. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. What about this one? Yes, I'm listening. I've only just started reading this. Uh, Earth 1602. You know what you should do? What's that? You should give us one that you've written down and then a random one. Sure. Just speed away at that Wikipedia no article. And no so worries. let's see if they're all as thrilling as <laughs> Spider Man 1602. <laughs> But yeah, so do you know what do you know about 1602? I Look, mean, it's the year 1602. What I know right? about it's it's in the year 1602. I believe that is the series that Neil Gaiman wrote for Marvel yep. in exchange for some sort of legal counsel. I think. Yes. Yeah, that's that's all I know about it. Okay, good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, where did he get his spider powers from? I don't know. I probably <laughs> probably drank some weird water. With a spider in it. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Is that a good comic? He, you know what probably happened is he was walking down the street and like somebody threw a like a bedpan out the window, <laughs> and got, it had caught some in his mouth. Caught some in his mouth, and it had some spider venom in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dead spider. Yeah. yeah, and he died. That's that version of Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I picked one. Okay, uh, Earth six one 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 
2, better known as uh, Peter Parker of that earth, better known as Spider-Man, was a member of the Avengers. History, after switching bodies with Dr. Octopus. Uh, I'll say that again. After- <laughs> no, I like the way you said it. <laughs> Dr. Octopus. <laughs> switching bodies with Dr. Octopus. Peter perished, Dr. Peter perished in his subsequent battle with him. The, the end. end, wow. Yeah, so there you go. Wow. Uh, I got another one. What's the last one that I've got on this list? What have we got here? Oh, there's a what if version. There's a bunch of them. I didn't I'm, write them all down. I'm excited to the hear one about I wrote, this. No, the one I wrote down was, uh, it's like a bunch of like, what if someone else was bitten? Like, what if Flash was bitten? What if uh-huh. Betty Brandt was yeah. bitten, et cetera, and so forth. Yes. So yeah. You got any other ones that, uh, I know there's a stack more, but is there any other significant ones or weird ones that we've missed and so forth? What's your favorite alternate Spider-Man? I got one here. Uh-huh. Uh, this one is Peter Parker from Earth 8101. Mm-hmm. This version of Peter Parker is an alternate version of Peter Parker who is an ape. Spider Monkey is a <laughs> is a Marvel ape it's a universe counterpart of Spider Man, but unlike his human counterpart, Spider Monkey is more egotistic, naive, and a bit more accepting of the world around him. And he's a monkey. Yeah, Spider Man. Spider Monkey has no problem with killing those who do not want to reform. As the justice system of his world says that if a villain does not reform, he must be killed. Spider Monkey is seen fighting amongst Doctor Octavius. Like, I get it. Yeah, you get it. I get it. Who Gibbon helped defeat, whoever that is. Spider Monkey is later seen on <laughs> Dr. Octavius's trial. And there's a Spider Verse version as well, etc. And, and so forth. He's dead, apparently. He was killed by Gen X. <laughs> and his name's Peter Parker. Yes. But he's a monkey. <laughs> yes. Did, what, what, I yeah. believe our friend Matt Stewart has done a podcast. His podcast, he, Prime Mates, which is about primates it. in yeah. popular culture. I believe he may have covered this. He may yeah. have covered the Marvel apes. Okay. So I'm sort of fascinated because I don't know anything about them. I'm sort of fat. Did, he didn't get you on for that? Did No. Not my area of expertise. How insulting. Thank you. You could have looked into it as well. I'm saying. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I could have looked into it. But is it is it a universe where everybody was human and then they became apes? That's a very good question. Because why, if if not, why would you name an ape Peter Parker? Very good. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a good one. Peter Parker of Earth 11099 is an alternate version of Peter Parker who has... Who in an alternative timeline is in the new fat? He's in the new Fantastic Four. There's a few versions of that. Where what if Spider-Man was in the Fantastic Four and they become the Fantastic, Fantastic Five? Five yeah. it says history unknown. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all the Spider-Man shit, obviously. Like that's his history, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. I can do one more. This is Peter Parker of Earth one one oh five three. It's an alternative version of Peter Parker who was killed by Daredevil, the Daredevil of his reality. Not much is known about this version of Peter Parker except that he was killed by Daredevil and left to <laughs> rot along with Bullseye, Iron Man, Elektra, in of his reality. That raises a lot of questions. I feel. Yeah. First of all, how did Daredevil get one up on Iron Man? Good question. Seriously. Yeah. You know. Uh, hit him with a stick. Oh, that'll do it. In the back of the head. I guess you just have to sneak into his house when he's not Iron Man and hit him with a stick. Oh, yeah, that's probably you know? true. Just wait till he's not wearing the suit, hit him with a stick. Oh, there's a Deathlock version? Oh, Deathlock Spider-Man. Got, yeah, taken over by the Deathlock situation. <laughs> that's Whatever what they call it. Yeah. Sometimes you wake up and you're like, oh, man, look at this Deathlock situation. I I'm do in. not like this and no thank you. Oh. But, yeah, there's a bunch. Every cartoon is also its own continuity and so on mm. and so forth. Yeah. What's your favorite Spider-Man, James? I really like Captain Britain because you hate it. Nice. Britain version. No, that's a good question. I quite, quite like Superior Spider-Man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. The best movie is the Spider-Man, the, the animated one, obviously. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, you love this one. I'm ready. This is Spider-Man Earth 70237. It's an alternate older version of Peter Parker who's given up on being Spider-Man. And after an older version of J. John Jameson, I his daughter say sorry for all the years of abuse. He also gave Peter... Package containing his old mask. Jamison begs Peter to come back as Spider-Man and Peter punches him in the face and walks off. <laughs> <laughs> Brackets, this Spider-Man is also dead. Yes. Is that the version where he killed Mary Jane because he's radioactive? Oh, maybe. I think it might be. That's a weird one. How exciting. Oh, Earth 666. That must be like a demon one, right? I'm sorry. I'm so. really down a rabbit hole here. <laughs> uh, I'm fascinated by these. Earth 67 is just a, it's just Spider-Man standing there and he's doing this. He's doing victory arms. Yeah. Okay. It says alignment good, status alive. <laughs> this is this is a universe in which yeah. Spider Man won a race. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Uh, status alive, place of birth, somewhere in America. Nice. Great. I don't. It just says Earth Six. It, is, it looks like some kind of demon. It just says oh, yeah, pretty it's an good. alternate version of Peter Parker. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, it's it's und, undead monsters. The Earth Six. It'd be annoying if you if you were born in a crap universe, a six 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 style universe, and you're like. What are we all up to here? And they're like, well, you got to be a demon. Yeah. What do you got? Spider powers? Well, you got to be demon spider powers I as don't well. Want I don't want exactly. Well, you're a bit by a demon spider, so it's not really up to you. Oh, come it? on. Yeah. yeah. You know? Anyway. Can I just not? Can't I just be a regular guy with spider powers? No. Absolutely not. You can't. No. Yeah. 
You're in the wrong dimension for that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, people got any favorite versions? Yeah. Or weird versions? I know we've missed a bunch of them because there are obviously a No, we've done all the good ones. What's your favorite though? You asked me and now I ask of I you know, the same thing true. that you asked of me. Is it twenty ninety nine? It might be. You're an idiot. Yeah. yeah. What if I liked regular Spider Man the most? Then you're boring. <laughs> No, I think that's fine. I mean, there's a reason he's so popular. Because he's boring and consistent. Yes. And relatable. Exactly. Exactly. Do you think current day Spider-Man, Tom Holland Spider-Man, is less relatable? Than which versions? Than the the previous versions. I don't think so. I think because he's, I feel like... Because I feel he's connected in this, in this yeah. universe. You know, he's, he'll, he, the, the, it'd, have, it'd have to... Nothing ever. He's never going to run out of money or whatever. Well, that's true. Yeah. But I guess you could say that about you could say that about a regular universe Spider Man. You could go, okay, well, if he really wanted to, he could just go, hey, Tony Stark, we're friends. Yeah, give me a million. Can dollars. I have a million dollars to continue to be Spider Man? Yeah. But often like, he won't. He'll be like, I don't want to. Exactly. I'm not going to that son of a bitch. So I whatever. think this might that that might having not seen Spider Man mm. Far From Home. Yeah. Uh, maybe post that he's like. You know what? I'm going to go out on my own. Or maybe the opposite. Oh. Anyway. Oh. There's some interesting wrinkles in that story, oh. which uh, we'll talk about next week. Oh, yeah. Do you want to know whether Mysterio be friend or foe? No. Here I am to spoil that for you right now. I thought you were going to rhyme. <laughs> do you want to do a rap? Do you want to do a rap? <laughs> if Spider-Man be friend or foe, I'll tell you on the show. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll talk about it next week. Next nice. week will be yeah, Spider Man. Uh, he's in home. Europe. He, what's he had to get there? Plane. Plane. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So anyway, the reviews have been good, but I'll be interested to see what uh, people think. If people have thoughts on that, tweet in Weekly Planet Pod, and we always read some things out, don't we, Mason? You better believe we do. But you know what it's time for now? Oh, what's it time for? What are we reading? Oh, what are we gonna read? Ha 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 ha. I'll do the theme song. Yeah. I'm doing the theme. What are you doing? Oh, that could be the new theme song, I think. The ha 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 ha? Yeah. Well, we've both been getting into The Tick. Yes. Yeah. Now, I'd love to get into more with it, Mason. But I've only watched a couple of episodes. Well, that. Yeah. And also, I... Uh, Claire and and I- also, I lost, I lost some steam because I asked if Chairface Chip and Dale is in this, this said, version no. of The Tick, and you said no. I so. would have remembered. Yeah. You would have remembered a man yeah. with a chair for a face who carved his name into the moon <laughs> with a laser. <laughs> uh, now, now that, you, that does sound familiar now that you mentioned no I don't think he, he didn't did get it. that far he only got to CHA okay right and realistically <laughs> that's in the yeah that's in the cartoon but realistically there wouldn't have been enough room to put chair face on the whole moon on the whole moon he you'd have it to smoosh it in the bottom I, I think so yeah. Yeah. did they yeah. tell him that no, no that's very yeah. funny mm-hmm. uh yeah, okay, so Claire and I have started a podcast together. It's called Suggestibles, or The Suggestibles. I don't know. Oh. I'll link it below. I think it's just Suggestibles, but it's basically... We, I think it should be called Easily Suggestible. Well, it's too late, Mason, because the logo's done. <laughs> oh, no. You could scroll on the top. I'm not going to. What if I carved it in the moon? Then you'd have to, wouldn't <laughs> you? You wouldn't fit it on the moon. You'd, no, you'd start too big. No, I could, then, yeah, yeah, I would, wouldn't I? <laughs> and I do joined up writing initially, and it'd yeah. be like, mm, it's not very legible. Uh, so it's basically, uh, we, we just talk about things that it's like, what are we reading? But it's not just comic book stuff though. Most of my stuff, cause we've done two episodes. It's like, <laughs> Hey, what's this weird AI thing or whatever that I want to talk about. Uh-huh. Uh, but I do talk about the tick, uh, yeah. without spoiling too much of it or at all really. So now are you guys telling each other about this stuff with the idea that the other person will watch it? Yeah, we're trying to convince them or just being like, what? Because we, we consume different media a lot of the time. Uh, <laughs> oh, like, that's a classic family, isn't it? They consume isn't it different just, media. Isn't it just? But, but we both love the show Gogglebox. <laughs> don't worry about it. If you don't know, don't if worry. If you don't about know, it. all you need to know. No, there's, a, there's an American version and a, a British version and an Australian version of Gogglebox. Oh, yeah. That do friend, the people wear the Union Jack in the British version? <laughs> yes, let us know. <laughs> Uh, is it no I, I think I think it's a worldwide franchise all you need to know is it just won an award in Australia the yeah. Australian version just won an award and beat some Australia's highest honour it beat some things that like there's actual effort involved in mm-hmm. it would yep. seem yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah and I'll link that below but uh, it's currently waiting for approval on iTunes but it might be up by the time this is up I think we're going to release it every check Thursday it. they've got to yeah. check it for racist exactly. content first yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but they can't stop me I'll say yeah. whatever my son <laughs> no but uh, if, I think it's going to come out on Thursdays cool so there's a pilot episode up and, and, uh-huh. and then a episode but um, it's just like half an hour and like this is what we're doing how many things did Claire suggest to you we suggest two each and how many, based on of those two that you've done in the most recent episode, how many of those are you going to watch? She bloody loves, she has a compelling argument, I tell you that much, Mason. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Things, right. Yeah. But how many are you going to watch? I can't remember. All of them. I'm going to read <laughs> all of them. I read right. and watch all of Correct them. Correct answer. Yeah, thank you. I also read Batman Damned, three issue, three issues, oh, the yeah, final right. issue. 
Uh, confusing. Did you get the dong version or not the dong version? I think I got. I think I got it post dong. Or there was an update to the file, maybe that <laughs> right, took, right. took out the dong. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can Google. Well, the that's dong. what you got to do. What yeah. you had to have done is to go on a comicsology. Because mm. for anybody who doesn't know, but this the first issue of Batman Damned. Yeah. Famously, you could see Batman's dong in it. Famously. And then it's got the American flag on it. That's right. <laughs> and then I guess they recalled at various editions and they pr- printed out a version where it's where yeah. It's, and so the. Now in comic book collectors' guides, it's going to have to say Batman Damned issue one, dong or not dong. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but what you had to do, if you got the digital version, obviously yeah. you'd have had to get it on your iPad or whatever, and then then like turn turn it to airplane mode and take the SIM card out and snap it in half. That's right. So no one could ever take it away from you. I believe it asks you to update the comic though, doesn't it? Oh, it's right, like okay. there's a, hey, there's a new version of this. No, Whenever it says to... that, I'm like, no, absolutely. I've not. read it and no. Yes. I want to see the dong. Okay. What is, I don't know the plot of Batman Dead. It's a different reality and it's like a weird nightmare kind of scenario. Oh. Constantine is a narr- narrator. Mm-hmm. Having read the third issue. Constantine. Constantine, thanks. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first one came out, I believe, Dong, last year. Constantine. I couldn't remember. <laughs> I replaced John with the word Don. I got it. Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Dong, Dongstantine. <laughs> You put out, you did it all, you changed it all. Didn't That's you? right, I did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so uh, the first one was like last year, so I don't yeah. remember. Okay. And then when this one opened, I'm like, I don't remember. He opens in a, it opens where he's in a coffin, and uh-huh. I'm like, I don't remember this at all. Huh. And then, but it turns out that it doesn't even lead into that from the previous one. I'm very on on the fence about it. I, I I'm confused. So I need to read it through to be like I. Is, is this, this a, is this is a this, nightmare, or is, is this he, a three issue limited yeah. series, or is there only three out yet? That's okay, it. Right. Limited series. I could, I, like, is this like a some kind of nightmare reality? Is he already dead? Is this? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. It's definitely left it open to interpretation. But the art's really good, so I'm going to read it again before I could give any kind of proper analysis or opinions. You ready for this? Yep. Bruce Wang. <laughs> Instead of Bruce Wayne. I get it. You get it? That's good. Yeah, it's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. What have you been uh, reading? Or um, well, obviously you've been. Working on wang puns, yeah, obviously all week. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> just scribbling in my little bloody, my little bloody little notebook here. Yeah, I don't know. My mind, my mind's been preoccupied with Spider Man movies, really. Sure, I can understand that. Mm. We're going to be watching Spider Man three soon, aren't you? I guess. Yeah, because yeah. we got to do that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough watch that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it since it came out. Yeah, you're not. So... Gonna, you're not going <laughs> to. But is there it. is there not? Do you not derive it. joy There's from the badness? It like. oh, it's it's okay. very long too. It's mm. two hours and eighteen minutes. Does the dance sequence still hold up? I'm not quite there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm no, going to start no. watching Preacher. Oh yeah. Because uh, I recently discovered that uh, uh, they cancelled it. Well, probably. No, there's a one more season. Okay. Coming up. But... Maybe they can get to the comic. Be good. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm. Dominic Cooper was just in Melbourne recently. We was missed he? him. Yeah. For some kind of con or whatever. I think so. Maybe he's yeah. conning an old lady out of a boat. <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah. Like Superman Returns, Mason. Oh, yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. I get your reference. But, I mean, I, it's, there's three seasons out. so I Super should... Dong, Redongs. <laughs> I could, nice, do, I could nice, do it. Nice. It's pretty, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was the only one who could do it, yeah. I should have said Superman, Super Wang, Redongs. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it now, and you're in control of the edit, so you can That's do whatever true. you want. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what was Dominic Cooper in Australia for? For what was he promoting? Or just did it one of those... Like I think maybe he was promoting some sort of like go to the Northern Territory, you know, go to a luxury resort in the Northern Territory. Okay, Dominic situation. Cooper. I guess I, I will. will. <laughs> yep, I guess. You know. Good on him. Well, you know what we got to do now then. Uh, is it letters? It, yeah. Okay. It, is, cool. ha- it has to nice, be the letters nice, theme. Nice. The classic one was letters, oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a take away. <laughs> here right now. We're gonna do letters. Time for letters. If you do want to reach the show, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod at, uh, on Twitter. Shoot that, shoot that over. We'll bloody find it. We'll or Weekly we Planet Pod at gmail.com. Would you say super long letters to you or shorter letters to you? Uh, short and to the point. Okay. Hit us with that question right up the top. Yeah. You know what I mean? Elaborate, Made, elaborate afterwards. Yeah. So you're talking about in the subject yes. line. I like that a lot. Do you want to yes. go first or would you like me to letters first? Uh, the, uh, this is from Mark Flesh. I'll go first. Hi, Mark. Nice. Very personal. It's good. That would also cover a lot of other marks that listen. If no, there's more than one no, mark that listens, it's, it's just, just Mark just, Flesh. Just Mark Flesh. Um, uh, the, the subject line is background actors in Spider Man. Oh, yeah. Which we. Oh, were... that's famous, dude. Yeah. I should have said it in the, the video we did. Well, Because I knew you it. did it. <laughs> I know, but please uh, tell me. <laughs> just thought James should know that the chubby guy with the glasses he mentioned in this week's Caravan of Garbage is actually a very notable background actor named Jesse Hyman. He's in a bunch of shit, yeah. He's 40. 
or 42 now or something. Is. He was 42, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's in a ton of music videos from the late 90s to early 2000s, including Simple Plans, I'm Just a Kid. Life is a nightmare. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Isn't that fun? He's in like a Super Bowl commercial where like, he kisses a, a supermodel or whatever, nice. and they're like, can you believe this schlub is doing this? Nice. Yeah. Despite his age, he still portrays teenagers and young adults as an extra. Really? Yeah. That's him in 2013. Holy hell. Yeah, he could still be a teenager. He definitely could be, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was six years ago. Yeah. But also in person, I think it might be a little bit different. Yeah, right. I think in person, you'd be like, that's a 40-year-old man. Yeah, weird. Yeah. But good on him. He's made, a, he's made a bloody business out of it, hasn't he, that? Yeah. That's real good on him. I always notice that guy in Spider-Man. That's like, I remember from the first time I saw it, I'm oh, like, that's so good. what is the deal with that? Yeah. Yeah. wonder how he got... It's just a famous extra in things. I guess that's true. Yeah. 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 It's got mm-hmm. that look that they're after. Yeah. Good on him. Good on him. Uh, this is from JD. But Wins. is that his goal? Is that like his? Was he like, you know what? I just, I just want to appear in a lot of movies. He's immortalized and stuff. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's true. Good on him. Seems yeah. like a pain in the ass. From what people have told us <laughs> about being an extras on things, it's horrible. Yeah, I was yeah. an extra on one thing one time, and it was, was really it? good. Yeah, and it was awful. What was it? It was an ABC sitcom. Mm. Uh, ABC, the Australian ABC, not the American ABC. Is that the one where you had a line no. of coke? Yeah, absolutely. With Tom Gleason, <laughs> yes, admit it. Yeah, I did. It's true. <laughs> no, uh, and basically the premise of the sh- the episode of the show that I was on was that it was the hottest day of the year. Ah, oh, that's right. But yeah. they filmed it in like it was apparently like the coldest winter day in forty years or something yeah. like that. So we're all there. Which, in by short- the way, we got the other day. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. So we're all in shorts and t-shirts or whatever. Yeah, and like shivering, and they're just like act act like it's hotter, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> Uh, uh, and it was a it was a nightmare. Yeah, everybody was nice, but you know, but never again. Yeah, but you loved it, and you loved the fame. Yeah, I loved the fame. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. Well, then you would. You, I wouldn't have let you on this show if you hadn't done that as well. And I didn't have that credit. That's exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JD Winter says, with Marvel's obvious success, do you think years from now they'll re-release their movies with retcon footage? For example, John Slater replacing all the pictures in the papers in the first Iron Man when Tony gets his award, or perhaps more controversially. Are replacing actors with redone footage like they did with Star Wars. Uh, Don Cheadle and Tara Howard, Mark Ruffalo and Ed Norton, etc. and so forth. Have we talked about this? I think we have. I think somebody will do it. Like a fan thing. You can do it yeah. with deep fakes. I think, yeah. I think at some point, sooner rather than later, somebody will replace... Somebody will do will replace Terrence Howard with Don Cheadle and vice versa. Yes. So they'll they'll... The, the initial challenge will be to put Don Cheadle in Iron Man yeah. 1 and then somebody will be like, well, what if Terrence Howard was in all the other... What about the opposite? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But they've got different shaped heads. It's true. Yeah. Well, deep fakes can do anything. So mm, I don't think it's quite there yet oh, with the different shaped heads. All right. But do you think Marvel will ever do that? I don't think they're no, really retconning think, no, this stuff. No, for sure. Exactly. I think they also know that people don't like that. Yeah. Because as we've seen from Star Wars, when they keep getting changed and they still haven't yep. released the original cut, people are like, we fucking hate this. Yeah, exactly. And stop doing it. And there's probably like a, con- a contractual thing. Like yeah. if, they were, if they were like, we're going to put John Slattery in more movies, yeah. then I think, and you know, they, I'm sure they own the rights to, to Howard Stark and what have you, but I'm sure uh, John Slattery would be like, can I have money for the like? Yeah. You, or, or you know, again, if they put if they put Don Cheadle in an, in Iron Man one, mm. Don Cheadle's agent would be like, "Are you going to pay him for yeah for that?" And even if even if it was some sort of ironclad contract where it's like you'll be paid for one thing and then we'll own your image as this character forever, I'm sure the you know the lawyers would step in and go, "Well, well we didn't factor in that you could digitally put yeah, somebody in, in a an movie. entire movie." Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I don't think they would risk it. I agree. Yeah. And you don't need to really, do you? No. I, I mean, mean people, people get it. Yeah. Don't they? Yeah. Unless society gets dumbed down to the point where people are like, I don't understand. <laughs> but then I think they would just probably just add a line about how um, J- James Rhodes is a shapeshifter or something like there that. There you go. Yeah, exactly. I mean, people can be, can't they? That's true. Uh, this is from Aaron, three exclamation marks. Hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. This is more to you than me. Oh, hello. Uh, what element of Far From Home are you looking forward to the most? I'm excited to see Mysterio because it's my favorite Spider-Man villain mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of all time. Oh. Thank you. I'm looking forward to fishbowl, elementals, yep, all those Europe things. vacations, romance. You know what? I'm I'm excited. I I'm I'm looking forward to most like uh, the Peter Parker and Ned stuff. Yeah, right. I think they're fun. Okay. They're a fun combo. I think you might enjoy it then. Okay then. Yeah, yeah I there like I like those two as a combo. Mm. Well, who plays Ned is bald. Did you know that? Yeah, pretty good wig. Yeah, it's a good wig. Yeah, it's wild. I didn't even spot it. No, first didn't time even, even, even when it flew off. Yeah. Uh, this is an email from uh, Andrew Wright. It says, mm-hmm. being part of the solution. 
Uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for being brave enough to talk a bit about climate change and all the issues surrounding it. No, no problem. We're not brave. No, we're the real heroes. Thank you. What you're saying. Uh, Your podcast and two in the think tank were part of the reason I'm changing careers from acting to fighting climate change. What? Yes. There's no glory in climate change. I know, right? I'll be going to grad (laughs) school next fall for sustainability management and dedicating my life to helping save the planet for future generations. Holy hell, that's really good. Just wanted to acknowledge the fact that just talking about it helps. So when I said earlier... We're not the brave ones. I think Andrew Wright is the brave one for not being a Hollywood celebrity type. Like uh, us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's really cool yeah, to hear. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And yeah. it's following a passion, which I think is also yeah. really great. Yeah, that's really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's terrific. Anyway, people can donate to that. It's links below. People yeah. want to donate because they can, can't they? Yeah, absolutely, they can. And look, even if you don't believe in climate change, we'll take your money. We don't care. <laughs> so just personally? Please. Yeah. I'll tell you what, if you don't believe in climate change, just give us the money. <laughs> In person, if you see us, just hand us some cash, <laughs> and we'll 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 give you a nod. You know? We're like, nice one. Thank you. We get it. Yeah, we get it. But yeah, there'll be extra stuff, as there always is. Yeah. Uh-huh. So there you go. Mm-hmm. Do you want to wrap up the show then, Mason? Absolutely. Thank you, everybody, for listening and subscribing and reviewing and saying a nice thing about us on Twitter. Yeah. And and giving us a little little five stars. Here's and, a review of the week, Mason. Telling a friend. This is from uh, from something awesome on the reviews. Oh, you yeah. can do it just through your phone, just through oh, your yes. bloody podcast app. Really good stuff. Been subscribed for a long time, listen to so many episodes, probably most of them, and they are all really good. Ooh. Probably even this one. Let us know. Okay. Uh, especially <laughs> the ones with Mason and James and the podcast dog and Claire. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, yeah. Well, that's then not. they'll probably like suggestibles. Exactly. Yeah. And that's linked below also. That's yeah. really, thank you for the nice reviews. <laughs> it helps. It helps a lot, actually. Yeah. What's next, Mason? Uh, if uh, uh, if you want to get a hold of us, you can go to a week, uh, Weekly Planet Pod at Gmail and Facebook and Twitter and Bandcamp. Yes. You can go to the Weekly Planet Great, oh, sorry, the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group on Agreed. Facebook. Agreed. You can. Uh, join up there. You can go to planetbroadcasting.com, uh, sign up for the newsletter from our great friend Rob Collings. He's, He's doing great. it all oh and he never God, stops. There's so, there's so much content in there. I agree. Um, you can also follow him on Twitter at The Weekly Planet. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can follow us on uh, Twitter individually. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. I'm also Nick Maso, M-A-S-E-A-U on Instagram. You're Mr. Sunday Movies. Or platform all the time. Yeah. <laughs> He's awake at all times. Yeah. Most, Demand yeah. his attention at all times. Please don't. If you'd like to support the show. Yeah. Again, hand us cash on the street if you see. <laughs> We'd appreciate that. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, if you live in a cashless economy. Yes. Uh, then if you'd like to uh, chuck in a buck, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. Chuck in a buck, any amount you would like. That's right. Um, or you can go to the Amazon affiliate link in our episode description. Uh, click through there and uh, and buy whatever you were going to buy to your heart's content. Buy Spider-Verse into the Spider-Verse. Buy a series of uh, alternate Spider-Man uh, little little busts. Exactly. Little, little action figures. Line Put them up. all in your desk. Line them up. And then, Line them up in a universe order. If you Yeah, good idea. Yeah. And if you want to get rid of them, put them on your lawn with five bucks on them. <laughs> yep. Someone will take That's it. right. Yeah. Right. Make me an offer. They'll steal them. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Uh, let's see. Uh, we've got some t-shirts on tpublic.com. Yeah. And we love them. Uh, thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rack and Pearl, our musical themes. Next week, Spider-Man? Next week, Spider-Man Far From Home. Exactly. Yeah, a little preview. You liked it. I can't tell you, Mason. Oh. Are you embargoed from having a conversation with me I am about whether you liked it? I just don't, I just want to keep the suspense rolling, oh, you know what I mean? That's very good. Because no, like you want it. people to come back. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't want to tell yeah. them that I, that, <laughs> I liked, that I liked it, well, which tradi- I did. Traditionally, people are like, they wait for you to dis- tell whether you liked it or not, and then they're like, done. Yeah, don't well, need, that's true. Don't need to listen to it anymore. God the rest damn. is just waffle. <laughs> <laughs> that's not inaccurate. Mm. All right, guys, thank you, though, for everything. <laughs> oh, and thank you for letting us put sponsors on this, including sometimes I'll do a different Razor brand for... <laughs> for YouTube and on iTunes. That was the ominous thing from earlier. That yeah. was the ominous thing from the start. People yeah, right. might probably figure it out by now, but uh-huh. yeah. Mm. Could you shave with one on one side of your face and one on the other and see what happens? Well, depending on what I'm doing, I'll use a different one for before or after. Really? Yeah, exactly. They work differently for different situations. I can't. I'm not at liberty to say. Tell me off here. On either medium. Contractually, you're not allowed to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm excited. Thanks, I'm excited everyone. to hear about this off air. Thanks, everyone. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you.